We're breaking into the Steel Watch Foundry. We've already been to the underwater prison. Thankfully, we had plenty of crates to pick up from a nearby room right over there. And so we just need to jump on over. I've got a scroll of Featherfall, so of course jumping down into any location won't be an issue. We'll save the Gondians once and for all, then afterwards we're gonna go after Gortash. And who knows what else we might do. There's always a lot to do in Baldur's Game. All right, here's a scroll of Featherfall. We've got it. Now we get to jump down. Let's not pop into anything at all. Uh-oh, there's a confrontation going on, so we probably just got here right on time. We've got... Oh, interesting. A black gauntlet. The cult is here. Well, let's continue to move. We were missing Karlak, but no longer. Let's sneak down here. I don't see any Steel Watchers, though we're in a Steel Watcher foundry. They're all outside, I believe. A targeting module? Interesting. I'll have to come back over here to truly explore. But for now, we've got to be heroes. I could move to the other side. There's also an iron gate here. Does that really matter? Maybe not. All right. Let's see then. Ooh, there's a steel watcher. I definitely don't like that. So we could move over to the circle. Though, that door is locked. That's true. No, we're not going to worry about that right now. Instead, we're going to run right in. That's what we do. We'll jump in, in fact. Hello. You have beaten and tormented us to the brink of insanity. You cut out my eyes. But we will bow no more. Gondians! Rip the motivator from this bastard's hands! For Gond! You can tell he's blind because he looked back towards Edrahill as if he's a Gondian too. Well, he's not. Alright, let's get ready now. So, Shadowheart, you get to move. Edrahill, I could have you go first. You know what? I'll have you do that. In fact, you're able to hit two targets using a cleave. Let's begin. There it is. Two already hit. That's a great start. After that, we're just going to do a standard strike. Very powerful paladin. A pommel strike. We've got advantage thanks to Risky Ring. And now Shadowheart, you get to move in. No, let's make it Lazelle for just a moment. We're going to bring her over here. Let's try to trip our enemy. Taste my fury. A decent chance to hit. It could be better. But now they're prone, so now they're truly in danger. Let's go. Let's take them out. Another attack. 8 HP left. A pommel strike just to finish them off. 1 HP. <laughs> Knocked unconscious. All right, you lucky. Okay, we'll trot on down. Lazelle is done. Now for Shadowheart. So Shadowheart, you're also a paladin. You can move down here to attack right away. But we could also use a spell too. A few spells, actually. Old Person. That could do something fun. Especially if we use a higher level casting of it. We've got Silence. I'm not too worried about their spell casting. I doubt it'll truly be an issue for us. We've also got a few other decent tools here that we could use. But I think for right now, to make it easy, to make sure that no one else dies, we're going to use a hold person and we'll see who we're able to hit. We got one. I'll take it. A pommel strike. Let's go in. All right. 13 damage. Shadowheart is now done too. Enlarge. Oh, he's a big guy now. He's a big one. All right. Here comes Karlak. He's playing a monk rogue. All right. I'm going to have her just jump on down. Could use a bonus action, but we'll just... Well, I'll use one by jumping. Perfect. All right, that'll do it. Let's topple our enemy. Well, actually, he's nearly dead. Just punch him. Dead already. She hits hard. I mean, really hard. Let's go after another target. One's being held. So we'll go after someone who's adjacent. That was a really good hit. They had full HP. Look at where they're at now. They're not doing so hot, huh? Okay, a stunning strike. We'll try that too using our key point. They're now stunned. We're all done over here. We're very strong. We've been level 12 for a very long time. So we've been at the pinnacle of power. All right. Well, good job. You didn't hurt us, right? Yeah, we're doing okay. Ooh, grease. That could cause issues. <laughs> Having allies can be a danger, truly. All right, no Gondians are dying. So far, they seem to be doing well. I should be able to save every single one. I know that we've got a rune powder bomb, but I'm not going to blow them up. 
I'm not going to take them all out. Edger Hill wouldn't do that. He's here to save people. That's his choice today. And so the battle goes on. Man, the turns are moving by so quickly. I love it. That's great news. Back over to Edger Hill. So Edger Hill, who could you kill right now? We've got quite a few options. I don't want you to fall. I'm scared about you falling. So we'll just go after who's being held. Yeah, I would rather do that. I mean, I, actually, hold on. I could hit you too. Yeah, that'll work. Let's go. One attack. Here's another. They're dead. So a bonus attack. We're not going after Gondians. We don't want to move too much. So we'll shift over here and get Bane Bagdog, who's also dead. Now they're all done for. Okay. Shadowheart, what do you get to do right now? I didn't get you to use Bless. You've got spells too. We don't need to use another hold person. I mean, a classic is using spiritual weapon. That's always a good one, I think. But I also prefer using a few other spells that we have in our arsenal. I mean, if I turn off Great Weapon Master, she'll have a better chance of hitting an enemy, so we'll just do that instead. Or she could fall prone on Grease. I thought maybe she had enough movement or enough clearance to actually get over there, but I guess not. That's okay, though. We're doing fine. We're doing just okay. We only have a few more enemies to go after. In fact, let's go over here and go after... What's your name? Let's see. Who are you? Ah, 23 HP. Okay. Well, I actually need to come over here real quick and bring out my Great Weapon Master. Turn it off. We need a higher chance to hit. We are on Tactician. All right. Go away. Prinsky's motivation sequence activated. No, the motivator. Deactivate it. Hurry. Excuse me? The what? Yeah, I should probably take care of that. I'm going to use my action surge. Huh. A DC of five. <laughs> Well, we have a minus one. But we've got a nine. We passed. That was close. Too close. Yeah, no kidding. So we only have, what, really two enemies left. That's it. I haven't used any of my special abilities because I feel like these guys aren't really worth it. They're not very powerful at all. All right. I would like to use, I think, either a pushing attack or, as usual, a trip attack. We'll do that. A ranged one. Now they're prone too. They're in a lot of danger. Here comes Gondian Xanar Tubin. Dealing an okay amount of damage. Man, that grease. Not a great one. Oh, you've been goaded. Poor Karlak. That's not too hard to do to her, but she still killed someone. Oh, hello. Good job. Hey, thank you. That was a great amount of work that you've done. All right, so we've only got what? The one enemy? The one enemy. Now the Gondians are going to curb stomp him. Like that one JoJo meme where everyone just begins to just stomp on a guy. Ooh, acid. Not a good call, my friends. But the battle's nearly over. I've got potions. Karlak will be able to patch up. Another one. Terrifying. Okay, all right. Edrill. Take care of him. It's easy. It's simple. It's over for them. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's get his closer. Please, L. She won't trip. She won't fall. One down. It's over. It's we did it. Do they want to chat? I bet they do. Did you see what happened? Is my little girl... Is Obedia safe? Yeah, the prison blew up, but I got everyone out. She's okay. My heart. I thought her lost. I would give more than just my sight to keep her safe. Our destination is the Neurositor, the nerve center of the Steel Watch. Guide me there, and I'll do the rest. Sure. I do have a bomb. I mean, won't that do the trick? Your bomb will most certainly do the trick. Place it directly on the Neurositor and then run like every fiend of the nine hells snaps at your heels. All right, then we'll pick up a bit of loot, maybe get some information. Infernal Mace. On a hit, the affected entity deals an additional three poison damage. It can possibly poison its target. That could be handy for someone like Lazel. No, she's fine. Office key, I don't need that. I've got Karlak. 
What's over here? Prinsky's motivator is a supreme bainite means of ultimate coercion. Oh, okay. Understood. I don't need to know more. Oh, hold on. We need to kill someone. You know who would do it? Lazel. Lazel would kill them. They're unconscious? Who cares? She wouldn't care. All right, so now we need to go down a little bit lower. Oh, a safe key. Congratulations, son. Oh, they're trying to make me sad. <laughs> Just a quick note to tell you, we are so proud of you for finally landing a job with the future. Oh, no. Lord Gortash will go far. And you were right to hit yourself to his star. Oh, mother, if only you knew. All right, so now we're going to use a short rest. Time to get going. Yeah, no kidding. Time to get going. What about this gate over here? Does it matter at all? I doubt it. Yeah. I wonder what that's used for. There's got to be some manner of purpose. So now we're going to move on to another part of the foundry. Back over here. We've got a key. Yeah, there we go. Security office. And don't worry. As I've said throughout many parts of our campaign of our story, I'll come back to loot later. I always like to investigate, but we've got things to do right now. It feels weird to been like five minutes looting whenever there's people to save or I'm breaking in somewhere. I mean, we'll come back. I'll come back. I'll watch a crossbow blueprint. Well, that could be interesting. Yeah, I could definitely come back and try to build that. But here we go. We're going down into the foundry. It looks like we're intruding on another festive moment. The Gondians are trying to break out, I suppose. If we weren't here, they would all be dead. Wait, hold on. Hellfire Watcher. That's a bit different. Level 11. Okay, Shadowheart, I'm going to have you get over there, but hold on. You're going to grab a scroll of Misty Step and also Flash Blinders. I bought those a long time ago. I finally get to use them. All right, yeah, pop on right over here. You've got the powers. All right, after that, we only need to hit two of them. Yeah, there's only two. hope I'm not wrong. I hope I'm not blind. We'll see in just a moment. Throw one in. Come on. Villains, All right. Take heed. Recovery is imminent. Is it? No, nah, I doubt it. I disagree. Let's go in to strike. Not bad. An okay amount of damage. I gave her a shield for right now. So they can't move at all. Lazel, it's your turn. All right. So Lazel, who are you going to kill right now? We've got a few good options, I think. We could go after everyone who's adjacent. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Misty step. Let's keep it simple. Let's make it easy. We'll pop on right over here. We gotta help out everyone. All right. Soul Breaker. A miss, unfortunate. Well, that's okay. I'm going to use after that a cleave. All right, so you hit only one of them. A trip attack. We'll keep on trying. Not our best start, but we're doing okay. Here's an action surge. Let's go after... Yeah, that easy target. We might as well just kill one of them. Nice. Now, Bane Anuk. Another miss again. But we don't give up. All right, they're not prone, but they took a lot of damage. Yeah, Carl, like it's your turn. All right, come on down. You're going to try to topple Bane Frode. Right, you're not a flaming fist. You're just a fist of Bane. Oh, wow. Okay, topple to hell. Good job. Let's go after another one. Another one dead. And that one. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. They're all dead. Manzer Biggs, you're in luck. We're here. <laughs> oh my god. What a slaughter. Oh, here's another big battle. All right, after that, it'll be Edrahil. Edrahil could jump down there or go after that other Hellfire Watcher. I'll think about it. You know what? Yeah, let's come on down over here. Why not? Let's do it. Come on down, Edrahil. We're going to help out for sure. All right. Then you're going to use what? Well, you've got cleave. Let's use it. If you crit, you get to use smite. There we go. Smite level three. Not dead, but close to it. Strike again. Motivation sequence activated. Oh, crap. Okay. Hopefully, I get more than a turn or we're in danger. If only these Gondians would actually turn it off. I mean, if they would deactivate it instead of attacking, that would be great. Oh, that was a decent amount of damage, though. Good job. A few more attacks. Another Iron Console. Ooh, silence. Very daring. Feeling daring today, aren't we? After that, let's see. Another Misty Step. Ooh, right on above. Don't use Acid. Oh, you're using Acid. Okay. 
Well, don't run into it later. I might have to. If I'm unfortunate. That was a decent amount of damage. Uh-oh. Okay, so we need to get rid of that, too. Yeah, that's got to go. Unfortunately, it takes a full action, not a bonus action. If it was a bonus action, that would make my life a lot easier. I don't know if I'll be able to save every Gandhi in here. I'll try, but there's a lot going on. Oh, you're not dead, surprisingly. Crap. Well, thank you for pushing that one Gandhi out of the way. Okay, Shadowheart, you're going to have to come over here and turn that off. Thank you. All right. Evidently, that's all that you get to do. Very unfortunate. I don't like it. I mean, you could cast a spell, but on who? I don't know. We could shove someone. No one that I care about, though. You know what? I'll push you. Get out of here. Get out of here, nerd. Yeah, fall in the acid. Well, good job. Okay, so after that, let's move Shadowheart over here. Yeah. Heading there. Just to kind of keep someone from being able to move too much. All right, you two still cannot move. Lazel, it's your turn. You'll go after Martin in just a moment. Actually, you know what? Go after Martin right now. Screw that guy. Prone! No more silence. All right. Okay, after that, we're just going to hit a lot. You don't need to faint. You're fine. All right, one more attack. Dead. Very dead. Okay, a bonus attack. We'll go after Xena Hade. Two Hades with you. Three HP left. Nice. Okay, Karlak, what do you get to do? Well, I'm going to have you move over here after, you know, hitting someone. No kidding. Got that one. We'll try to topple another enemy. Well, we don't need to. They're dead. <laughs> They're very, very dead. What about these watchers? Can I, like, push them? Too heavy to shove. Are you sure? Oh, I was hoping that maybe I could shove them. That would have been incredible. All right, so what we'll do, I wonder, could I stun them instead? I would like to try to. Any more movement? Blast it all. Such is my life, man. All right, we'll dash. We'll get a little bit closer, then we'll try to stun. Just to do it. You made your save. All right, that's fine. A lightning bolt. Ooh, that was a lot of damage. Okay. Gon's not going to help you. No, it's Edrahill who's saving you. Thank you. All right. Let's turn that off. No kidding. I can't turn off another one. Crap. Is that a newer one? I don't know. All right. There's only so much I'm able to do right now. Do I have a push and a speed? Because I'll just use it right now just to turn that off. I should. I do. Only one. Jeez. Yeah, I'm out. Very surprising. By the way, I forgot to bring Edrahill's underwear. He's free balling today. Whew. Another one down. <laughs> that sound. <Whew. laughs> I've never heard that. Not bad. Hey, good job. Good job. All right. So Shadowheart, she's going to stun those two again using that grenade, hopefully. That's my dream. What I could do, I could push all the Gondians away. I mean, that would waste my time, of course, but I might have to. I just don't want them close to a Hellfire Watcher. That seems like a very bad idea. No, not more acid. Come on. I need to walk there, man. Oh, and you're going to teleport right by the most deadly entity in the room to you at least well so far none of them have died but they're close to it they're getting close to it for sure all right so what we'll do what we'll do right now we're going to take another flash blinder and we're going to throw it right away i just need to be careful i need to make sure that they're both being hit oh god that is not great placement i do not like that okay maybe that'll work please work come on yeah i got him take heed Recovery All right. Is imminent. No, that's great news. That's really good. But now I wonder, could I push one of you away? Karlak, you're kind of in the way right now. I wish you weren't. You know what? We'll move into the acid blood. I don't like doing that, but get away. Don't stay close to a deadly enemy, please. It makes my life difficult, all right? Wish I could shove again, but I can't. All right, smack away. A miss? Really? Oh, XCOM numbers, man. Happens to the best of us. All right, Lizelle. You'll move over here, I suppose. Or you could move on down over here where we've got a few enemies. How many? Let's see. We got you. That's one. That's two. 
Is it only two? Am I crazy? I think it's those two, yeah? Yeah, that should be it. I'm just trying to be sure. Edger Hill would be able to take care of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. Forget about it then. It's all good. Let's move over here then. And, uh... How far can I push you away? Get out of here. Don't stay here. Like, just leave, man. Can I knock these prone? I don't know, actually. Immune to prone. Okay, well, that tracks. Pushing attack. I'll try that instead. Hey, but I'm able to do that. Nice. All right, another strike. All right, not quite gone. Not quite gone. But getting there. All right, who else do we have? Well, first off, use haste. It's time. All right, then move over here. Push away another little buddy. Get out of here, little buddy. Thank you. All right. After that, a stagger, a push. I can't use a push. Not there. Not over here. Are you sure? Are you making me mad? You are making me mad. Okay, well, a stunning strike. We'll try that. Two HP. Not bad. All right, we'll go after the other one, too. If I could push that target away, that would be fun. Yeah, eat it. Don't just look at it. Eat it. All right. A stunning strike. Not quite dead, but getting close to it. We've not taken a lot of damage. Again, it's kind of like Superman, right? Where they're so powerful, they're so strong. It's not really a matter of them being in danger, but rather those they want to protect. Um, excuse me? A detonation? Okay, all right, that's really bad. Well, Edra Hill, let's go after one of them. Good job, let's go after another. We killed two more. Nice work. That's terrifying. Okay, we're going to use what then? Haste on... I can't use haste on any... Really? Are you, you sure? Well, blast it all, huh? I could use my dash. I don't want to be right in it, but I do want to be close by. Maybe I get to help out or something, you know? Come over here. No, I'm not trying to target you. I'm also trying to not kill you. Hold on. Let's get a little bit closer. I'm shoving. Get out of here, kid. I just didn't want you to be hit by them if they came back online, but that's much worse. Please don't run into it. <gasps> you idiot. You nearly killed us. Oh my god. Gondians, never mind. I take back any compliment I gave to any of you. You nearly killed two of my characters. Lazelle and Shadowheart. Shadowheart's a partner of Edrahill. You monster! Alright. Malfunctioning for one turn. That's great news, but I'm gonna drink a potion. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna drink an awesome potion. Sweet mother of God, man. Oh, that was stressful. Alright, I wonder, could I make you flee, grovel? No, you can't go prone. I know that. I'll just leave it alone. I don't need to worry about it too much. I could just use like a standard spell for fun just to do it it's not a lot of damage but nor does it need to be yeah drink a potion only Karlak needs to be over there then we all need to get out of there so we'll just move back Karlak it's your turn oh god okay I don't want to trigger that directly so what we're gonna do <laughs> we're gonna we're we're just gonna move back. Thank you very much. All right. Do I have like another bomb or something fun to use? I, I don't actually know right now. I've got a smoke powder bomb. That wouldn't quite do it. I don't want to use my better ones, of course. I could try to bring it over to Carlyke and let her use that for fun, just for the hell of it, right? Yeah. Let's go. Catch, maybe. All right. We're nearly there. Another attack. Let's go. Soul catching boon, advantage. Four damage, not a lot. We'll keep on going. Oh, oh, misclicked, misclicked. That was a close one. <laughs> Got it. Oh. Okay. No, never mind. We did it. It was very stressful, but we did it. It didn't have to be stressful, but a few people made it a little bit scarier than it should have been. All right. My faith will guide me. Let's use a create water just to get rid of some of that acid. I don't like it being here. It bothers me. 
the Gandians are moving away. Do I need to even scout down here? Is that important? Probably not, but here, I'll wash away more. I'll have a look around. There's a lever. Oh, an elevator. Okay, so that's probably where that one locked gate led to. Infernal mace again. Okay, so you're not really rare. A metal crate key. So I'll want to find that. And of course, I'll loot every single person here. To Clotilda. All right, let's have a little read for fun. Dear Reaper of Ball, Clotilda. It was at one of the Chosen's meetings that I saw you. I was guarding Lord Gortash. You were guarding Lady Orin. Oh, I felt a real connection like nothing I'd ever... <laughs> That's really funny. They had different jobs, but... You know, he caught some feelings. It happens. To Clotilda again? Oh my god. All right. So, before I put down any manner of bomb or I move into this big room, I'll go around, I'll pick up what I need. Wait, what's over here? Oh my god. They were torturing people. They were doing some messed up stuff. Wait. Oh, in surgery, excuse me? Are you? Hold on. That's really sad. I don't know what that's all about. Who did you used to be? Yeah, I saw some notes, but I guess you need to go, bud. Sorry. I mean, you're a zombie. It's too late for you, right? There's a mind flayer parasite specimen. Okay, they were experimenting as usual. Let's see here. Step one. Orbital trepanation of the cranium can be completed using the provided... Oh, no, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. You did what you had to do. Oh, hold on. We got some more water to use over here. We always use a little bit of that water making. We're rain dancers, you know. Beautiful. Whoa, check out all the bodies. So, evidently we didn't save every Gondian, but we did save a lot. Good for us, huh? A new room, no issues yet. Well, that's good. Breathe deep and move. Yeah, we always gotta breathe deep and move. A brain jar. Huh. Not for me. I'm not into that type of jam. And so I wonder who we're gonna fight. Another Hellfire Watcher for sure. We know that. I mean, there's gonna be more. But what boss? Is there a boss? Oh, they're around here. They're waiting for me. They've yet to see me, which is interesting. So, what could I do here? I could, I suppose, advance? Say hello? We know they're going to blow up, but if we focus on them one at a time, maybe that'll be okay. So, let's move over here to the right and begin. No cutscene, only a battle. Oh my god, okay. A what now? <laughs> Gortash's magnum opus. What a show off. He's like, you know what? I've got money. I've got people I've kidnapped for work. Alright, very well. We didn't roll very well for initiative. Not in the very beginning, but that's okay. So who do we have after that? Another Hellfire Watcher, then the Titan. Ooh, 479 HP. Well, that is quite a bit. That's certainly going to be something to contend with, but I've got my Flash Blinder. Oh, yeah. I could hit a few of you. All right, we'll move over here to the left. Then we'll take out that grenade, and we're going to hit, hopefully, three targets. Let's go for it. Villains, got take him. Heed. Recovery is imminent. Nah, I doubt that. Okay, hammer time. A miss, unfortunate, but that's life. It happens. Can't have a win every day. Here comes another one, though. But that gives us a good chance to focus on a few targets, patch up if we need to, and to allow Carlac to do some good fun. Some fun fun. All right, so we're moving up now. I've got my bomb. My bomb would make it probably pretty easy to do some serious damage to a target that's adjacent to us. Let's come over here and take out one malfunctioning target, or if we wanted to keep it simple, I suppose we could go after one that's currently standing, but no. Let's go over here. 25 damage. I'll take that. We'll go in again. 28 damage. Oh, we're not done. We're at 188 action surge because that's what we do. We surge around. 159. It accumulates. Andrew Hill has been around for a while now. He's done so much. He's grown so much. He's become a juggernaut. I would like to imagine if he's able to, after we're done here, he would live a quiet life with Shadowheart. Or maybe he would continue on. Who knows? Does he have a call to action that's so powerful he can't just be stationary for a while? There's one hit. Another after that. 14 damage to go. Okay, Pommel Strike. Let's see if we're fortunate and it works out. Okay, perfect. Look at that. One HP left. Nearly gone. We don't want it to blow up. That would be terrible for us all. We could just shift over here to the left. 
Perfect. I'm hoping these don't blow up, but we'll see. Okay, Karlak, it's your turn. Bring out your hands. It's time to throw them. Let's move over here and go after what's right in front of us. I've made everyone so powerful, they've turned into just deities of war. They're a nightmare to fight for sure. Top or strike. Critical miss. Well, that's all right. Let's go again. 42 HP left. It's about to blow up, though, which I'm not really feeling right now. Let's move away. Yeah, we'll have to move away. We got the one that's currently not stunned. That's good. All right, so we'll wait over here. We've got two. We're just going to move everyone away from that one target. It should blow up by, well, these two, which is awesome. So we'll move over here and we'll attack. All right. The battle's working out for us. Tactically, we are superior. That much is true. Okay. They're at 208 HP. Nice. Ooh. I was hoping that I would have a bit more time, but it didn't quite work out. The other one is now blowing up. So let's again move away. I might have to drink a potion or something like that because, dear God, that was a lot, huh? Well, let's get away for now. We'll come over here, drink a potion, just to, again, keep it safe. Make it special, you know? Stay alive. Important stuff for us. And then what we'll do, trip attack, ranged, for fun. We'll try it out. Immune to it, of course, but I just tried it for fun. Pushing attack, that won't do anything, but we'll keep on shooting. Oh, that actually did something. Holy crap. Oh, okay, it pushed upwards. Not anticipated for me, but it worked out. All right, a little bit of a delay. That happens. Immune to poison damage. We know that. All done for now. Edra Hill, it's your turn. You're going to have to pop one up over here. Just jump up. Let's go after another target. One hit, Divine Smite. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's go. Another attack. It's not blowing up. That's good. Then, Karlak, you get to move. We'll go after the leader. Why don't we do that? I was hoping it would be a bit closer, but if it's not, that's okay too. We'll just start punching. Nice. Look at that extra damage just going into it. All right, a bonus strike. It doesn't need to be too special. I'm not using magic in today's part. We're just all about smashing. We're here to smash. Ooh, one gone. All right. So we've got another that's burned out, blinded too. That's awesome. Edger Hill will take care of that. We'll come over here and go after the Steel Watcher. I could again throw another one. I mean, will I fight these guys again? I guess I should save them. I could save them. I don't know what it's able to do. And we get so many spells, but I don't need to use them all. Not right away. I end up saving them a lot, but... All right. We'll just go after the Titan. Because that's what we should be doing, I think. Three strikes. Yeah. I mean, really, a fighter? Do you need to multi-class? Not really. I mean, if you want to go pure fighter, it's always just so good. You get to do so much. All right, let's strike. You didn't blow up. That's interesting. Are you going for it now? Yep, there we go. Okay, so now we also get to jump away. Get away from that. Good to go. I'll drink a po- Well, I'll drink it later. Let me actually bring that down real quick. Come on now. Show up. That's no, all good. All right, back to punching again. And we've won. I mean, level 12 or not, you're not strong enough to beat us. We know that. We're too good. Too strong. That didn't blow up either. The other one, it's going to blow up. All right, let's loot it just to check out what it has. It's got a Gaunter Mel. Mall? I don't know. On a hit, possibly inflict Guiding Bolt upon a target. That's really cool. Okay, this object shines with a glowing light in a radius of six meters. It's got Celestial Haste. I mean, that's a lot of really cool stuff. Guiding Bolt. Yeah. We've got a Haste. Also very cool. My god, man. And some enriched infernal iron. I wonder what that's for. I mean, does Karlak need it? Will she use it? I don't know. We'll see. All right. We did it. We avenged him. We didn't even need a bomb. I could see where you would need a bomb. Oh, I could definitely see that. I mean, I'll take it. We probably don't need it. I'll still pick it up just for the hell of it. For the halibut. All right. Let's see. We'll just take all of what's left. And is there really anything we need here before we do anything? A brain chant. Control center guards. Okay, so like all of the information about how they made Hell Watchers, Steel Watchers. Yeah. Let's just... Oh, man. Look at that. All the fleshy bits. Not my favorite thing in the world. All right. Explore. And then over here, inspect. Well, does it really matter which one I do first? I don't know. I mean, I'm here. Here's a metal crate. 
need it for anything? No, not really. I don't even know why I, I bothered. There's no point. And over to the right, we just have like a few more things, like a automaton component. Let's just kind of click on that. This head belonged to the automaton you encountered in the underdark. Whoa. How did it come to be here? Yeah, how? Poor Tash. A drow recruit brought this curious object. Oh, okay. The kind of clockwork jiggery pokery you enjoy. <laughs> Catherick. Jiggery pokery. Picture Omni Man saying that. You know, Thorm. <laughs> jiggery pokery. All right. Sure. What's this over here? Anything? Can't click on it. Had a short rest. Well, that's fine. Let's just say hello. Neurocitor awaits your input. My input, huh? All right. I could try to decipher the symbols. Will it go well? Probably not. Will I try it? Sure. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's about right. If I could let someone else try, I could. You cannot but. make sense of this complex machine. Me smash. Me not think. All right. I'll actually just use the bomb, I suppose. This will destroy the foundry. Wiping it from the face of the Forgotten Realms. Yeah, let's get rid of it. We're cool guys. We gotta walk away from some manner of major explosion. We're getting to that finale. Yeah, get me out of here. Alright, everyone leave. It's time. We gotta go. Perfect. Not too bad. Hey, they got out. That was a hell of a show, my friend. Watchers collapse in the street as we speak, and the foundry. Yeah, that's gone. The scent of rune powder drifts through the city like a warm embrace. I see my bomb did the trick, but it's not over. So long as a single parasitic Gondian remains, Baldur's Gate is under threat. Enough, Walbrin. Gortash enslaved us, forced us to build his steel watches, but no more. Take the city. Let the Iron Hands reign supreme. I just wish to go home and hold my daughter. Yeah. I mean, come on. It's over. Please. <laughs> if a Gondian told me the sky was blue, I'd look outside and check. You Gondians will lie, scheme, and torment this city until your dying breaths. Let's end this! Walbrin, enough! I won't watch as you poison your soul and the brilliant future that remains to the Iron Hand Gnomes. I thought the Iron Hand Gnomes had corrupted you, Walbrin. Now, I wonder if it wasn't the other way around. Kill the Gondians and you kill all we love. Collaboration, challenge. Solving problems with the power of reason, creativity, and invention. I still want to believe you're better than that, Wolbrin. But even I am having my doubts. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, there's so much. Ooh, I could use my Oath of Vengeance response here, but it doesn't really feel appropriate. I mean, why would I call him Little Wolbrin? Why would I taunt him? I mean... Look, I get it. He's angry. He also wants vengeance. So I just feel like that's not really an appropriate response for Edrahill. He wouldn't really say that. Except for right now. Perhaps the Iron Hand Gnomes need a new leader. What say you, Barkus? What about that? He's very sensible. A DC of 15. Let's try it out. A 17. We just made it. I say... I say you're right. They deserve a leader will encourage them to create, not destroy. They deserve someone like me. I can't save you from yourself, Wolprin. It hurts terribly, but I can't. Toss your values in the bin if you want, but don't throw out the Iron Hands with them. 
This is ridiculous. Iron hands. Kill this man. The Gondians recognize Barkus Root as leader of the Iron Hand Gnomes, and look forward to ushering in a new peace between our factions. It is with a heavy heart that I remove Walbrin Bongle from our ranks. You have until first light to leave the city, Walbrin. I expect treachery from all sides, but you, little Barkus, the boy who followed me from the Underdark, who clung to me like moss to stone. When we next meet, my hammer will cleave your skull in two, and that is a promise. We had a decent long rest, and now to visit Gortash. That shouldn't be too difficult. I had to make sure that I had a few potions ready for that job. I don't want to go inside and kill everyone. That feels bad. They do follow Gortash, but they're probably just doing their job, I would imagine. So let's separate everyone. There's a few ways I could get inside, but I've got my choice. I would like to fly up. Yeah, don't bother me. I'm just going up. Perfect. And that should be all that I need to do. Obviously, I'll need to fly again, so I'll get everyone up over here. Then we should be ready to go see Gortash, unless they've got a patrol, but probably not because we took out the Watchers. Yeah, so... Let's get everyone up here, then it'll be easy to go say hello to him. It's been a long build up to now. Gortash, you're all alone, aren't you? Wait, who are you? You're the Iron Console. Huh. Jaxbok. What a name. Well, it doesn't really matter. We'll kill them. He's not gonna like me being here, but I'm here to intrude. Hey, you weirdo. This was your doing, wasn't it, Karlak? The destruction of my steel watch. Such a petty vengeance. Those things were evil. Just like their papa. To think I ever worked for you. <laughs> Proudly, too. I never meant to harm you, dear. Merely to help you realize your vast potential. You sent me to the hells. You let Zariel take my heart. As though any of it was yours to give away. The greater good, Karlak. Something I wouldn't expect you to understand. You feel no regret, do you? All right. How about fear, then? Oh, you do quite misunderstand. I've already made a deal with your companion. We need each other. Do we now? Never mind that, Gortash. We've heard all we need from the likes of you. You ought to reconsider. Divided, the Elder Brain will create an illithid army, yourself included in its ranks. Together, we can tame it. I'm sorry you feel wronged by how things ended between us all those years ago. But now, we must look to the future. You make it sound like we were lovers. Or friends. But that wasn't it. I trusted you. I respected you. It was my job to protect you. And that's what I did. I was so young. I didn't recognize evil when I saw it. When you turned on me, I was too dumbstruck to realize what was happening. No way he'd hurt me, I thought. He betrayed me for reasons I still don't quite understand. But I suppose evil has no real cause. It just is. Until it isn't. You utter brat. You're going to burn this place down. Good. <laughs> Say goodbye, Gortash. No, you have to stop her. Do it now. Now to turn down sound effects. That one concussion grenade right by us is quite loud. All right, Lazelle, you get to go first. Let's go after someone who's close by. Yeah, we'll do that. This we don't need to jump. End. We'll just move. A miss? Aren't you lucky? Let's move around. I'll go after the friends of Gortash. Then maybe Gortash right after that. Goodbye, Jax Bok. A bonus attack. 
A miss? Okay, well, action surge. I don't need to miss again. Got him. Okay. I can't go after another target. Not yet. Not now. I could try to move over a few enemies. Stuffed bear, huh? If I can knock him prone. Oh, that would be sweet. I would love that a lot. A trip attack ranged. We could try it out for fun. Let's just do it. He's prone. It worked. Haha. <laughs> okay. A disarming attack. We'll try that too. He's dropped his weapons. <laughs> you idiot. You nerd. He's getting up now. Oh, he's got him back. What a shame. He's dashing. Where? Oh, way over here by that grenade. Ooh. You triggered it. Okay. A dazzling ray. A lot of flare, but not a lot of substance, just like him. Shadow Heart's in danger, though. Yeah, I know. Drink a potion. Be okay, all right? Do that for me. You can't do too much else right now. That's okay. I mean, there's a lot I could have you do. A Radiance of the Dawn would be fine, I suppose. We can move a little bit. Do that. Move over here and trigger it. Yeah, why not? Let's go. A little bit of damage, but it adds up. It does add up. Okay, Karlak, it's your turn. You finally get to do some good old-fashioned punching. And you hate that guy, Gortash. So, uh-oh. What's charging? Incineration caster right in front of me. Ooh, Don't like that. So, I need to be careful. All right, try to stun him. He is stunned. Try to topple him. Still catching boon. Advantage. You've got it. That's really good. But you're not done yet. Another attack. Keep on punching him, Karlak. You deserve it. You deserve it. A ranged attack. No, a punch attack again. 148 HP. Stand on my feet. Okay, Edrahill, let's go after another target. Someone way over here just to freshen things up a little bit. All right, after that, Divine Smite. No, we're going to use our top of the big folk. Let's try that one. We've got advantage. Critical hit, Divine Smite, level 3. 15 HP left. We'll try another attack after that. Not a guaranteed chance to hit, but damn well close to it, huh? Another step forward. All right. All done. One guard left. Aura of Terror. Oh, a spooky guy, huh? In front of resistance. You made your save. Nice. Moving away. Missed by Shadowheart. What a shame, but let's go back. About to explode, huh? I don't like that. But what we'll do, we'll come over here. We'll jump over here, I suppose. Yeah, let's do that. We'll try to knock another enemy prone if we can. Ooh, not an easy time to hit you, huh? All right. That's a bit intimidating. I could try to go somewhere else, I suppose. Let's see, what else could I do? An Aura of Terror. I didn't think that would do anything to me right now, but we're just going to have to try anyway. Let's just swing away. No Great Weapon Master. We'll just try to do something, right? Trip Attack. Just advantage, unfortunately. But they are now prone, so that works out. Then we've got Soul Breaker. We'll use it anyway. A miss. Unfortunate, but we get to swing again. 40 HP left, and she's now done. Gortash, those sounds are comical as hell. He goes, ah! <laughs> what an idiot. Okay, Shadowheart. Could you, would you, be able to beat this guy? 12 HP left. Try again. Come on. Ah, there we go. All right. Yeah. Healing Radiance. Okay, let's patch a few friends up. Lady Zell's doing fine. All right. Can you now do it? Can you defeat Gortash? He's pretty much all alone. Try again. Topple. All right. Try to stun him, too. Still catching Boone. 29 HP left. We'll keep on trying. We're not done. It's over. We've won. Nice. Regicide. My favorite. Mmm. I love that brand of cereal. Ooh. Things are blowing up. All right, we'll talk to her in just a moment. I already got the boots in this corner. Don't worry about that. I had to come back for those, but uh, let's see. These boots have seen everything. Lord Inver Gortash. And if I don't have them, I'll get them. So Gortash is nothing more than a pile of flesh? Same as the rest of us. That's true, no. You can sense she's working something out. Say nothing. I feel like there should be a sunset for me to ride off into. Or an orchestral swell, or something. But there's nothing, is there? I killed a bastard who ruined my life, and my prize is that I get to crawl into a corner and die. Am I fucking missing something? There's a lot going on, yeah. 
this is all a lot to take in. It's no wonder you're overwhelmed. No, he wouldn't say that. He would say, well, nothing right now. I can't do it anymore. Ten years, man. It's enough. It's enough. <sighs> he's dead. And he's no fucking sorrier now than he was before. What was the point? I'm still dying. I'm dying. I'm going to die. Yeah, it's a lot. <sighs> but you're not dead yet. I'm here with you, and I will be until the very end. Don't say that. So you found some way to fix me. That now Gortash is dead. I'll get my heart back. My heart. It was mine. And they took it. I'm going to be as dead as a Gortash any day now. Any moment. And what then? Off to the City of Judgment to waste into oblivion? Into the dirt to get eaten by maggots? Is that it for me? Is that fucking all? And you, you'll just keep going, won't you? Watching the stars, warming your hands on the campfire, dancing, eating, making fucking love all night, all of it, all of it! That's my reward for everything I suffered! That's why I survived ten years of torment! The fighting, the clawing, the loneliness, <laughs> Fucking loneliness! All of it so I could rot! Because the person I trusted the most gave me away to the devil! <laughs> it isn't fair. <laughs> I don't want it like this. <laughs> oh man. Let it out. It's about time. I don't want to die. I want to live. I want to stay. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? I hate to say it. We know what the truth is. She's going to have to go back to Avernus. She said she would rather die than go back, but I feel like go back. Maybe we could find some solution, something to keep you going. What are you meant to do now? I don't know, but whatever it is, I think we're meant to do it together. Let's get out of here. I've always hated this place. Stupid fucking gigantic bridge or whatever. I think I need to go to camp for a while. Be alone. Scream at the sky. You can come and find me later if you want to. Thanks for listening. For existing. Love you. Ooh, that was a lot. That was a lot. Maybe she needs a break. Maybe she shouldn't be there in that final battle. We'll see. Okay. Nether stone studded gauntlet. Innervating suffusion. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 force damage. High spell casting. You gain a plus 1 bonus of spell save DC. Okay. Well, I've got that now. The gems are mine. Indeed. 
The Nether Stones pulse with psionic energy, permeating you, pulling you in line with their rhythm. The thrum quickens, rising, cresting on a single feeling. A location. A morphic pool beneath the city itself. So that's where the Chosen imprisoned the brain. I know where to go. All right. Do you think we're ready? With the stones in hand and the Chosen dead, we stand as good a chance as we ever will. As to how good a chance that is, I cannot say. But I have hope. I don't know if you're capable of it. Hope, huh? All right. Why would they put it there? To conceal it, one would imagine. And to maintain the illusion of their own control above ground. Okay. How do we find it? I mean, I know, but let's just go through that process, huh? If memory serves, there are smuggling routes beneath the city. They will take you underground. When we reach the pool, we will find the brain and we will end this. In death, thraldom, or freedom. But a word of caution. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. Finish your business here before you proceed. The brain will be waiting for us. Damn calamari. From bones free no more a slave. Liberators, saviors, pawns, dupes, fools. Okay, are we doing like a free word association? We'll go back to camp and talk to Karlak. Then we'll probably get ready for the final bout. Wait. Uh, excuse me? That's a mind flayer. They're beating it up, so I'm not too worried about that. But that's really weird. Huh. <laughs> Alright, I suppose I don't need to help out, do I? Yeah, there's plenty of guards. They sh should be okay, I would imagine. Oh, they're gone. What is happening around here? Oh, right. The Society of Brilliance, too. Remember them. Don't worry. Emilium, he's not here. He's not dead. He's not here. How do I know that? Well, I gave away the egg. <laughs> so he wasn't down there, you know, in the prison. Ooh. What a scene. Whoever did this had no rhyme or reason. Just viciousness. No kidding. Are the gods truly this petty? They are. We have learned that. They are. What a shame, though. What a shame that they're all dead. That happened. I'm not too worried about the details of that. But I just know that they're here. We've got a few more things to resolve. And then finally, you know where we're going. We're going to confront the Elder Brain. It feels so strange because it doesn't feel like a threat anymore, does it? When you've done all the missions over in Act 3, it's like, oh, wow. I, t I like, took my time here. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Other than just, well, side missions. Helping out companions. Interesting. The chest key. Okay. There's a lot going on. And a portal too. But again, before I do that, I'll go talk to Karlak. I don't know who I'm going to bring for the final fight. I'll have to really think about that. Because I don't know what's going to happen in that final fight. Which means I don't know what to really prepare for. Other than like, what, psychic damage maybe? Yeah, that would be it. Let's break the chest. Before we go back to camp. Some gold. Okay, I'll take some gold. Now, back to camp. Hey, soldier. You're back. I am back. Still soldier after everything we've been through, huh? Old habits. Did I miss anything while I was off having a sulk? Not really. Villains rose. Heroes fell. And the apocalypse drew nearer. Hm, nothing out of the ordinary, then. You know, soldier, we're so fucked. The Dark Three are trying to consume the Sword Coast. 
We've still got tadpoles in our eyes, and I've got a ticking time bomb in my chest. I'm not sure anyone has ever been more fucked than this. And yet, we're fine. In this moment, we're fine. Here I am, there you are, breathing, talking, even laughing if we want. Is it very precious to say that despite it all, I'm happy? No, no, it's not. If you're happy, I'm happy. In that case, there's something I wanted to ask you. Will you stay with me when it's time for me to go? I think I can do anything if you're there. Even die. You know, normally in a video game, this wouldn't be a consideration that would stir me or move me, but I think it always comes down to the fact if you've dealt with something in your life where something comparable has happened, where you've been there while a loved one has passed on, and um, it's really difficult because what once did exist, those times that were once had, they can't be had again. They're gone. They become a memory immediately. There is no waiting process. It's just about you understanding, about you coming to terms with it immediately. It's tragic. It's sad. I think Edrahill would cry. I, I think he would mourn her. But... It would be hard. Of course, I'll be there, Carlag. Whatever you want. Thank you. Now, enough tragedy. I'm not gone yet, and our schedule is packed with important heroics, isn't it? Plus, if I cry anymore, I'm going to run out of tears and start leaking motor oil. Thanks for everything, soldier. I'm extremely glad to be in this thing together. Who are you? Another who needs to learn the difference between right and wrong? A good Yankee youth. And a familiar one at that. Can it be that this is the one who hatched from the egg you took from the crash? Wow, you grew up quickly, dear God. My oath helps me decide right from wrong. I need no teaching. No. Everyone must learn right from wrong. Good from bad. I am Pataris, and I am good. Father was bad. They all were. I tried to make them better, but they were not strong enough. They lacked resolve. Did they now? I won't be the judge of that, boy. Explain yourself. They did not live up to Father's code. Even he did not follow it correctly. He was not righteous. He was not innocent. His thoughts were impure. Such evil can only be cured one way. With pain. With torment. And if that does not work, with death, tell me, are you a good person? Oh boy, you're unstable. I'm not debating with a murderer. You kill those people. You will be punished. You would speak of punishment to me. I know what you did to me. I see the memory of it. Right there in your head. You stole me from my people. Gave me to that woman. Unhatched. Defenseless. You let me be brought here so father could hurt me. No, that isn't the case at all. Remember, he was going to be crushed as an egg. They were going to get rid of him because he you didn't hatch. You are bad. You must be taught a lesson. Yeah, about that. We use persuasion. He would have been destroyed if not for me. I saved you. I'm DC of 25. Let's try friends for advantage, guidance too. Let's try it out. I'm 27, we made it. You were trying to save me. I. I don't understand. Father saved me. I was nasty, 
evil thing. But his treatments made me good. I... I'm cured. About that. He lied to you. No one is born evil. But... But why would he hurt me if I didn't need to be cured? The code is flawed. And I am a monster. As he said I was. I cannot be trusted. What have I done? He is lost. A shame. He could have proved a great ally to Orpheus. True. Carla and Lady Zell are going to take a break for right now, so I brought two new companions. I've been meaning to go by Jahira's house. I just haven't had the time. How could we have the time? There's been so much at stake. It's been incredible. But her house, it should be here. We're going to see. Who's Fig? Stand on your liver! It is stand and deliver, little Fig. Though, I think I like yours better. <laughs> you bellow like a true berserker. The commander said I only had to keep out bad ones. So you can pass. Alright. Thank you, noble sentinel. Dear God, you did not roll well for intelligence, huh? That's okay. Neither did I. Let's go inside and say hello. Oi! Stop a moment! Commander! You're in trouble! <laughs> commander. So you're the commander. We know that Jahira likes to be sarcastic quite a bit, so I imagine... Her house is absolute chaos. Oh God, let's go inside. We've got Ryan, we've got Jessam, Jord too. Anyone else? Oh, Mallard's Mark, here we go. Are we quite sure she hasn't actually died this time, brother? She looks dead. Smells it too. Ooh. It has been a hard road, but I can clip you both around the ear to prove I am no ghost, if it would help. Forgive us, Mother. We're just surprised you still know how to find your way home. <laughs> Some battles, even Boo is not brave enough to fight. Ryan. A sending spell can carry 25 words. Do you know how many Jahira's only message contained? In all this time she's been away? Seven. Oh boy. I don't really want to get involved. <laughs> what did she say? The message went, I'm sorry, you know what to do. So why haven't you done it? You were supposed to get the young ones out of the city. And you were supposed to be dead. That's what your oh-so-stoic message meant, yes? Yet here you are. So, what happened out there? I got my skin saved by this one. We've come to take the fight to the cult. Which is exactly why you all cannot be here. Why? You plan on winning, don't you? You're the one who saved her, so tell me. Are we all doomed? These are definitely your kids. <laughs> We're not doomed. Not in this lifetime. See, mother? A little positivity. You are a very irritating girl. Uh-uh. This isn't your house, remember? You'll keep a civil tongue under our roof if we let you stay at all. Have mercy, sister. She's old, after all. So old! Seems I'm outvoted. See, mother? That is how you go about talking things through with your family. Now, if there's more to discuss, then bloody well come in and wipe your boots. I couldn't live here. I couldn't do it. It works for her. It wouldn't work for me. All right. We'll investigate a bit. I mean, she wanted us to swing by for a reason, I'm sure. 
She's not really stating why, but I'll have a look around. I do like exploring. Who's in here? Another child, Tate. I hope you were hibernating, little cub. I can't think of another reason you wouldn't come down to say hello. Jahira! I d d d d didn't w want to see if you were really dead. They said... Who said? Jord and Ryan. They didn't think I c c could hear. You little sneak thief. Well, they were wrong. Look! Not dead. I just... Had a few adventures. Like, uh... I've got a good one. We broke the curse that had gripped Moonrise Towers for a century. Moonrise? Like the place from your st stories, Jahira? The very same. We can give that one a happy ending after all. Now, Cub, solitude is a wonderful thing, but not too much. Come downstairs and fight with your sisters. Wait. Here. I was... K keeping this safe. My Harper pin. Oh, was a certain little sneak thief playing down in my sanctuary? No, no, no. Harper pin opens more doors than most. Come down to my study and see if you can figure it out. Wait, hold on, Jahira, your house is massive. And we had to stay at a tavern? Really? He could have invited us here for one, and of course she would test Edrahill. But that's all. We'll figure Come it out. Come on, sure. Ferdinand. I what is office? My God, it's beautiful. Hmm. What's that? You know what it is. Don't even play. All right, I'll put it in in just a moment. But I think I want to talk to Jord. An interesting choice in hair color. Hi. I take no responsibility for your plants. You know I'm more of a mushroom man. You've let my study turn into a thicket. Is this what I am hearing? I tended to it. I just let it thrive in its own independence. You know, same way you raised us. I raised you to be a sweet and kind boy. What happened? I watched what you did instead of listening to what you said. This house has taken in a lot of children over the years. Mother dear was sometimes more commander than, well, mother dear. All right, then. I found her to be firm but fair. Ha! You see? This one is well trained. I have no need for you anymore, faithless boy. Oh, save your fangs for someone who thinks you might actually use them. I've only ever seen her truly angry once. We were down the market when I was about nine years old. Some merchant started in with the usual. Yes, but where's your family? Whose son are you, really? When mother was done with him, well, let's say he won't have any sons of his own to worry about. Hmm. Nature's law in action. I'm learning so much about Jahira. It's great. All right, about that pen slot. Let's see, what do I have here? There we go. That was pretty simple. So now we'll go down into her basement. Man, I would love to live here. Who wouldn't, right? Save some for the others, <laughs> right? It's incredible. I do want to talk to a few other of her kids, but for now, let's go downstairs. Yep. Looks a lot like my basement. Unfurnished. How much fun no, it's beautiful. Pay no mind to those. You're probably safe so long as I am here. But if you do not trust me, take the weight from the pressure plate there. Well, that's good to know. I'm not sure why I would come by her house without her, but Have she's no here. The traps aren't meant for you. But uh, better to stick close, eh? It's beautiful. Oh my god. Could you imagine? I would never want to leave. I could spend every day here. Yeah. It wouldn't bother me, not even a little bit. Water, trees, strange animals. Huh. The work is never I want to talk to them. All right. 
Who's going to talk to them? I suppose Jahira. She's got to. I don't have a potion of animal speaking right now, so I'll let her do it. Very well. We've got a badger. The only Rats. patch of wilderness this city permits me. There ought to be supplies here to aid us. Good. You know this place, Boo. <laughs> Minsk has never been invited. Me neither, buddy. Though you've known her for a lot longer. It takes. Let's go say hello. hello there. Arch Druid. It's good to have you home. The new informants are coming along. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know you had your own crew here. I bring word of gnomes. Gnomes in the sea. <laughs> All right. Down by the blushing mermaid, there's a stink of something fey. Smell of ass too. But boss doesn't care about that. That's actually great information, too. There's been killings in a holy place. Sticks of incense and blood. Right, thank you. Is okay. Blood? Let's continue no, no to look blood. around. Another step forward. Yeah, I'm telling you. I would move in here in just a moment. <laughs> Let's see. And I really wish she invited us to stay here. It'd be a lot more interesting than the tavern. I'll tell you that much. All right, so we've got some loose planks. I don't have my usual characters to unlock things, so this whole endeavor, <laughs> it might not go well. Jahira, I mean, if you want to do Did it, it's waiting? your house. Well, certainly waiting. Yeah, disarm it if you want to. DC of 15, good luck. Try it out. A 13, that didn't work out. We could try it again. I guess we'll do that. I've got inspiration. I never really use it, do I? No. All right, so we've got a key. That key leads to another room. Never and a there's a bookcase. <laughs> What's here? Kinai. But if it's supplies you seek, weapons to aid in our fight, you won't find them behind that door. There is nothing back there of worth to anyone but me. Really now? I also hide all of my worthless things behind secret doors. It should be no surprise to you that Harpers like to hold their secrets close. Whether there is sense in it or not. On my word, all you will find inside is dust. And the moldering keepsakes of a much younger woman. Jahira, our friend has put their trust in us. Boo thinks it is only right to return the gesture, no? You so rarely make a habit of being right, Ranger. That it puts me ill at ease when you are. Pass then. Go on. See what it is a foolish old harper thinks worth hiding away. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm too curious. I've got to know. If not over, then through. Man, her sarcasm is biting. All right. So where do we even begin? A right of the timeless body. Interesting. A confused spread of cryptic symbols cobbled together by the same hand. Seemingly over years, neat notations impose order on the chaotic sketches, describing some manner of druidic ritual, its purpose unclear, and its practice incomplete. Right of the timeless body. What's that about? I'd best ask Jahira. Yeah, I would love to know. The cub speaks. That's me. I found a strange scroll in your sanctuary. Something about a timeless body. Ah. The threat of spanking never kept the children from poking through my things. Why should it deter you? It is a ritual, or it describes one at least. Practiced by druids of certain esoteric circles. If they be learned and powerful enough, the practitioner of this ritual might slow their aging extend their life well beyond its natural reach. In greener days, I might have been strong enough to do it. I might be yet, with the right preparations. Interesting. What can I do to help? Do not look at me like that. I have been content to see the span of my natural years. A privilege far too few in this world can claim. 
I do not speak of clinging to life for its own sake, I just... ...look back on that life's work and I wonder... ...is it done? The dead tree plague the world still. The city still falls prey to small minds like Gortash or lost souls like Orin. It is every Harper's hope to be a light that drives out darkness. But I've lived long enough to see so many of those lights burn out while the shadows cling stubbornly on. <sighs> Knowing that, isn't it our duty to burn on if we can? To fight for as long as we are able. Minsk does not understand the question. You will live forever, Jahira. Of course I will, Berserker. And you will sprout soft and golden locks from that shining skull. <laughs> All right, then. Would you live on at any cost? In truth, I had put this ritual from my mind. Until last light. Trapped in that darkness. I turned to my research again. What if I was a little stronger? As fast as I once had been. Then you came. And made the question moot. But I kept this. Just in case, I told myself. A final resort. Perhaps you were not the savior you seemed. <laughs> I had learned better than to think of life as some simple tale after all. There is no guarantee of happy endings or true heroes. I believe that still. But when I look on all that we have achieved since, I wonder perhaps it is not heroes we need. Only people who are willing to try. I do not know what manner of story that makes. But I do know that without an ending, it would be no story at all. So I will accept mine, when and however it comes. As for this city story, well... Well, that is entirely your problem now, Cub. Yeah, hold on now. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. You're not off the hook that easily, Jahira. I want you around for a long time yet. I have no plans to lie down and die. Well, perhaps a little lying down when all of this is done. But I do not plan on going anywhere just yet. And besides, you still have a tadpole in your skull. You are almost certainly going to die first. Thank you. Very reassuring. Okay, before we go on, why didn't you tell me about your family? Hmm. I have given you much reason to think that Harper's hoard secrets like precious stones, but I promise you, this was not some intrigue. Just, uh, plain and simple foolishness. As if by keeping clear of my family, I might keep them clear of the cult in turn. And if this fight were to go against us, well... They had already done their mourning. Why visit it on them twice? You made a lot of decisions for them. Ah, you're right. That is extremely foolish. Careful now. Only I get to say it. And my daughter, apparently. I was wrong to think I could keep my children from this fight. They're Baldurian born and bred. The only damned reason I root myself in this place. This city is a cesspit. An open sewer of the soul that taints us with its filth and churns us out when all that is good has been stripped away. It also happens to be their home. And so it is mine. Ugh. That might be the first time I have said that out loud. Now come. We had best get to saving it. Lest Ryan turn her ire on us both. Listen here. I've got to tell you. You should just move. <laughs> it won't be that much of a problem. Just move away. What do we have over here? Oh, your husband. A gift. Let's see. Jahira cannot be cursed. Plus one wisdom. Up to 21. And a level 3 abjuration spell for aid. 
Yeah? A gift from my husband. I've had to renew parts over the years. But the heart remains the same as the day he gave it to me. It's really sad. He died a long time ago, too. Staff of the Ram. Once per turn, the blow possibly knocks a foe back two meters and stuns them. Nice. I'll take that. And over here, Belm. Oh, now that's good. That's perfect, in fact. A scimitar, light. It's got finesse. We've got over here a perfectly bound strike, too. That could deal so much damage. A whirlwind attack? Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> to hear his old weapons. They look strong as ever. Minsk should know. They gave him many bruises over the years. I think we picked up everything. We can get out of here now. Maybe talk to Ryan and do something else. We've got a few other obligations that we need to handle. Yeah, let's do that then. But that is such a good blade. I wish I came here earlier on. There's so much good loot in Act 3. Not so much... <laughs> Earlier on, I mean, there's a lot of synergies that you have to really look forward to, but that's really it, right? All right, let's see. Yeah, you should definitely use your old blade. I think so. 12 to 19, that's a lot of extra damage. Now hold on to that. Maybe she should be there with us until the very end. I do like her that much. Carla could join us too. We'll talk to Ryan, and then we'll move on. I just want to get to know a little bit more about the hero. Yeah, there she is. Right by Fig. I wonder. She might be waiting for us. I don't know. No arguing. Just tell me you're well. I am well. And Minsk? Boo is also very well. And happy to see you, Ryan. And I him. Enough that I'll let him keep his lumbering, sweaty steed inside. So. This cult. What's our plan? I'm not fool enough to think I can change your mind. But if you're staying, I don't want you taking up arms. There are other ways to fight. Really? Like what? You can protect the refugees outside the walls. You shame me. In all our hunting, I had put them from my mind. Right. Leave them to us then. If we can't get them past the checkpoints, we'll at least make sure they're watched over if it comes to fighting in the streets. If I have to stay home and babysit, then it's your job to make sure there's still a home to look after. Take what you need, and we'll do the grand reunion when you come back for good. Of course. So, lovely as it is to have you back, Mother. Go away. You have work to do. Aye, aye, Commander. Wait, one more thing. There are doppelgangers on our trail. One even went so far as to steal my face. Huh. All right, then. If you turn up looking for hugs and kisses, I'll be sure to shoot first. That's my girl. There's only one part of the Underdark I've not been to. Up to the northwest, over here. Right under our very noses. Here's my final team. Lazel, Shadowheart, and Jahira. Three of my favorite characters all together. Of course, in the future, whenever I do play again, we're going to have a different composition. But we're also not going to be nearly as good in many of our actions. To be quite fair and blunt, though. Bring it, rats. They swarm when an elder brain is near. We must be close to its height. Azrael has killed many. So we are close. I don't need anything else. I have my elixirs. Beware. A solitary rat may be trivial, but a swarm is dangerous. I believe it. Severed legs? Oh, yeah. They were eating well, weren't they? Okay. Enough talking. For a moment, we're going on a skiff. Let's get moving. Are you sure you want to go to the Morphic Pool? There is no turning back. I'm ready. Pristine darkness in every direction. Mm -hmm. 
silence, but for the gentle, rhythmic slap of water on rock as your vessel cuts through. Very rude. What an intrusion, with all that we're wearing, too. You know, I thought to myself, maybe we should just be wearing plain clothes. <laughs> At least for a moment. The drill, all soaked. Some people would pay to see that. Now that's power. Look at that stroke. He's going for it. Undeterred. Of course, that would be Andrew Hill. He would understand that you're meant to sink. He's like, I only know swim, not sink. An overwhelming force pushes into your mind. The brain. It is here. You. We know that. And I don't like your brine. I wouldn't use it for my chicken. Uh-uh. Not for me. Mmm. Brain chicken. Alright, so we'll take our time looking around, I suppose. Preparing. Calculating. Evolving. Are you? A mega brain? Maybe not. Alright. Let's jump over here. A bunch of empty crates. Survival. Oh, okay. It's going to be a mound. Yeah. Well, I'll check it out. I'll tell you one thing that's been bad for me. The capability to respect so easily. Whenever you permit me to do that freely, oh man, I can't help myself. I just constantly have to try something new. Like for Jahira, Shadowheart, she's what? She's got one point in Sorcerer, 11 in Cleric, all about lightning and thunder damage. Jahira, she's got Fighter and Druid. All right, what do we have over here? I don't know why I'm always the one being sent to smuggle goods into High Hall. I value my neck just as much as everyone else here, and those traps are just as dangerous as the day they were installed. It's only fair that I get a danger bonus for this work. So if you find his cash, it's because I'm keeping it here for my retirement. Really? That's all that you had for your retirement? That wasn't a lot. But... The general sense I have about the economy in D&D is that it's pretty wacky. If you look at wages for like a peasant worker, and you look at how much it costs to even rent a room or buy some food, it's incredible. So I guess my internal logic to reason it out is people see that you're an adventurer. And because of that, they charge you higher prices. Kind of like if you're from out of town and people can sense it, they can smell it on you. They're like, okay. It's a tourist. I'm going to charge a little bit more. They have more. Why not? That must happen. Because otherwise, the economy is just a little bit loopy. I don't have any speak with dead right now, I believe. But here's L. Let's tell you. And here's a teddy bear. Uh-oh. That's sad. It's also named, which implies that character might be down here. So we'll have a look around. If it's appropriate. Yeah, that's my logic. I like to make currency matter. I like gold to feel rather tremendous whenever you get it. So I use silver. Let's say if I'm doing something like a fancy setting and I use coin currency. I mean, there's other forms of currency that I could try to use. The bartering system and all that. Uh-oh. We're getting closer. Don't crown me. I don't want that at all. I wonder, to hear her. Like my brain's about to collapse in on itself. Stronger right. I could make a little army. We must be. Yeah, I think what I might do for Someday fun, I, I could use all the people down here 
a bit tragic, but maybe they could help us with a bit of revenge, right? So I think what I'll do, I'm going to go around. I don't know how many zombies I'm able to pick up, and I do wonder if they could sneak around. Again, I did respect quite a few of my characters because I'm always tweaking. I'm always trying to make things better. And Jahira, she has a Deva Mace. Remember whenever we got cursed for picking up that one item, that one amulet that I believe Shadowheart has? And I shouldn't be wrong about the story here. But if you go to bed without actually curing that, then a Deva can pop up, and you can even trigger two. I don't know if that's been changed, but the Deva Mace, it might be some common quality item, but look at it. That's a lot of potential damage. It's all about the 4d8 radiant damage. So I've got Savage Attacker on Jahira, that one feat where you roll again for higher damage and all that. You roll twice and you, you take the higher roll for your damage. And so that's why she's going to be able to hit incredibly hard. That's what I'm talking about, though. I always like to tweet things around and I wanted to still make her a druid. So she is. And like I said, I do want to try out the zombies. I assume they last until they're dead or I get rid of them. So I'll just need to go around. And look, now they have a head. I'm very kind. I only need to check a few areas. Well, the good news is I've learned about a new mechanic, fungal infestation charge. I only had four, so I've got four zombies. Of course, they could cause issues for me, especially if we can't sneak around. And we're not going to be able to do that, so hopefully we won't have to do that. But either way, let's move. I'm moving in closer. This feels like a battlefield. I mean, it's a wide open area. That's usually what they're used for. Looks like an ambush. An ambush? Where? I mean, are we going to be ambushed? I don't see where they're at, but... Oh, well. Let's move. Oh! Chase. Okay, there's a battle. There's a lot of enemies to worry about. Jahira, I could have you attack them. right away. Yeah, sure. So the cool part about me using Belm, I get to use my main hand attack as a bonus action. So let's do that right away for fun. Look at that damage. Let me show you real quick. It's pretty good, I think. 44 radiant damage, 16 bludgeoning damage. I'm one tactician, two acid damage, 11 necrotic. We've got 11 fire damage. That's incredible. That's so much. Slain by holy light. Yeah, no kidding. Another one dead. And another one dead after that. Because we're going to use a short rest anyway. Action surge. Just to have that done. And we'll move over here. I would like to move really Major close to kill them all, but... You are gone. She's going crazy. She wiped out an entire group on her own. What a monster of war. A critical miss... I spoke too soon. That's what I get for being a bit arrogant. Shame on me. Well, we're going to wait right there. That's fine. Let's She's done. This. Shadowheart, you're going to use Chain Lightning. I'm using that staff that we had on Gel. It's very good. Koreska's favor. I chose, of course, to use a certain type of benefit from that in order to get some extra spells because he's got one point in Sorcerer, 11 into Cleric, all about Thunder and Lightning damage. Here we go, max damage. We got them. Oh, those blow up or something. More. That's gross. More. Maybe not more. Okay, let's wait over here. That's fine. To strike. Oh, there are more. You're right. Yuck. Oh, there's a lot to worry about. Dear God. Oh, I really don't like that. That's kind of scary, actually. I wonder, could I throw that? Could I take out all of you by throwing in one of these void bulbs. <laughs> Get screwed, you bunch of nerds. All right. I want to take him out, man. Let's go again, right? Let's go. I'll wipe out the entire group. At least I'll get rid of the gluttons or try to. Okay, after doing that, I'm able to shove. So I think I'll want to come over here. I don't want to be by the chasm where they could blow up right there and hurt me like that. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Hmm. Maybe a pushing melee attack. Let's try that one. Oh, well. It did blow up. It dealt quite a bit of damage. That's pretty scary. Okay, you're also going to action surge because we're going to clean up everything that we can. But 
I'll just have you move over here, I guess. There's only, what? One glutton over there. I could try to shoot it from here. Let's go for it. Got it. That was a lot of damage, too. We could shoot again. If I can't reach you directly, then yeah, I'll shoot in. Who could we hit for the most damage? Well, I'll hit one of you. That was a lot. We'll shoot again. He's done it. Action surge. Hard to beat. Time to push my luck again. Okay, so Edrahill. He doesn't have too much work to do. There's only a few enemies left. We'll just Should go kill one of them. Enemy. 47 damage. Clean. Beautiful. Even. We'll pull out our bow. Nine damage. Not a lot, unfortunate, but that's life. Sometimes you don't get what you want. You take it. You take what you have. You move on. Don't push me. Don't try it. All right, zombies. I could use them right away. Again, they're just fodder. I'm trying to help them get just desserts. And they're very hungry. Wait. Wouldn't zombies be a great enemy for intellect devourers? Would that not be perfect, right? Oh, man. I wonder if that's been written about. Tell me if you know the lore behind that, because... I would just get a bunch of zombies. Hey, look, guys, brains. <laughs> You'll win immediately. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> you can't really influence them, not psychically. If you've got the magic, maybe, but... Oh! <gasps> Another zombie? What? That's really cool, man. Oh, okay, okay. They take one necrotic damage each turn, but still though, that's really neat. Terrifying, but neat. All right, let's just end their turns. Oh, it's autonomous. Well, that's 19 damage. <laughs> I was telling you, a great enemy for sure. Okay, so we won. That was pretty sweet. These creatures were not themselves. Corruption is in the air. It infects everything it touches. Really? I mean, that seemed pretty normal for a zombie, but if you say so. Okay, so we got two newborns. That's so freaking cool, though. I had no idea. So now, if we want to, we could oh, do a short rest. Later. I do have a few potions of angelic slumber, so if I wanted to have the effects of a long rest, I've got that option. There were a few missions left. However, the biggest issue is largely that... Wait, where were they? Oh, right, I don't see the Baldur's Gate stuff because I can't go back. Is that they were heavily bugged, like Philogear's fireworks. I couldn't actually get it to trigger the final part of the quest. And if you've played and you've dealt with that bug, you know what I'm, what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> it's really buggy. You also don't investigate. You just go in and you're meant to wipe out an entire store full of people. Guards might come in, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Anyway, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't really that interesting. All right, let's get a move on. Got some more stuff to do. Those zombies are going to fall apart. Not my fungal zombies. They're a bunch of buddies. I wonder what type of crazy mechanics are going to make my life difficult in the coming battles. Throw. Thankfully, my friends have been very good about not spoiling it for me. I don't like spoilers. I don't even like to know the emotional response someone has to a film because I've watched enough film, I've watched just so much, and I've read so many books to where you just kind of know what's coming. You can predict based on tropes or whatever else. Oh, hello. So that's your teddy bear that we picked up. Again, I don't have Speak with Dead, however, I've got your teddy bear. There. That belongs to you now, okay? And if you want, I'll give you a letter too. So hopefully, you'll be able to rest. Alright. Here's a rustic chest. We've got a note. Oh yeah, see? Yeah, that. Yeah, there's one variant that's for short rest. The other one is for long rest. It's much more rare. I'm sorry, Lestelius. I held them off as long as I could. That thing, it's been digging into my mind like a burning wick, melting a candle. Its voice cuts through my eardrums and into my spine. That's really sad. Well, we get to move on and hopefully provide vengeance on their behalf. Oh, this has got to be the room, right? Oh, my head is pounding. Must be close. Make off. No kidding. Make off. Make off. 
Nah. I'd win. I've got it. Deathly silence. The air is stale and putrid. It's close. Have the stones ready. Your blood slows. Your senses strung so tight they could snap in an instant. Let's see here. I've got constitution, intelligence, or strength. Muster the full might of your physical form. Throw it into breaking through the brain's defenses. A DC of 20. I've got a plus 8. Let's add giant form to it. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> I'll take that. Give me advantage. Yeah. All right. An 18. We failed. Despite all that, we failed. But I've got inspiration. I'll do it again. 24. We just made it. By eliminating Kethric, Orin, and Gortash, you have simply unbound me. Exactly as I intended. The crown is now mine to command. Mine alone. Don't listen to it. Focus on the crown. I've got charisma. That's true. Alright. Nothing is immune to influence. Determined to master the brain. DC of 25. I don't like that. 22. I'm really close, but I don't have the bonuses that I thought I would have. Inspiration. We'll try again. A 16. We're not going to be able to make it. I was hoping to master it, but such is life. Oh, wait. A nat 20. Haha. -ha! The crown is not my weakness. It is what made me what I am. I needed the crown to build an army. I needed the chosen to bring it to me. They would not have surrendered it freely, so I gave them what they wanted. Power. Just enough that they would play their part in my design. Their part has ended. The next orders will be mine. I won't allow it. Again. I don't think I'll be able to do it, but you are strong. You are mighty. You will dominate the brain. I don't think I'll be able to do it, but a DC of 30, a 27. Close, but nope, it's over. I couldn't do it. That's all right. It's tough. your role to play too. 
Who do you think told the Chosen about the Astral Prison? Who do you think planted the knowledge of Orpheus's power and the fear of what it could do? When the Chosen sent my thralls to retrieve the prison, who do you think let the Emperor slip its leash, knowing it would be the one to bring you to me? We were part of its plan. I only needed one Netherstone Lucent from the Chosen's grasp to guarantee my freedom. You brought all three back to me. In doing so, you have liberated me. This was your role, and it is complete. Now you will witness the grand design. We are not done yet. Try again. I mean, I could <laughs> dominate the brain. Okay. All right. More strength. 99? <laughs> because the nat 20 can do anything, right? There's no way. Oh, that would be so funny. That's okay, though. Pulled you out just in time. The situation is worse than I thought. This is an elder brain, no longer. The magic of the crown has caused it to evolve. It 
has become something more. A nether brain. Interesting. I thought the nether stones were supposed to allow us to dominate the brain. I thought so too. But that was when I believed it was still an elder brain. It has been anticipating our every move from the start. I underestimated it. We will need to rethink our plan. I have assessed our encounter with the Netherbrain from every angle. I know why we failed. The problem was not the stones. The problem was you. You can make only one move at a time, but the Netherbrain calculates every possible move at once. It knows what you will do. It knows everything you could possibly do. You cannot outmaneuver it. To defeat it, you would have to think like an Elithid. Better yet, be one. Your mind is not capable of this. Mine is. You will give the stones to me. I will assimilate Orpheus, and then I will be able to leave this prism to face the brain. No, thank you. Assimilate him. Skva! No! Now is the time to liberate him! Do not stand against me. Lazelle, you are so uncharismatic. It's incredible. You don't have to word it like that against you. It's not about you, Lazelle. Calm down. All right. My plan was always to free Orpheus. Why would I want to think like what the Elder Brain or the Nether Brain is able to control? The Elder Brain would be able to predict anything that any Illithid does. That's dumb. I prefer a more Chainsaw Man approach. If you're insane, if you've got a few screws loose, the devils are going to have a hard time predicting you. I like that a lot more. <laughs> there is another way. We will free Orpheus. You still don't trust me. After all we've been through. Remember, I have been your salvation from the very beginning. Your knight in shining armor. I freed you from the Nautiloid. Prevented you from crashing to your death. I have protected you ever since. At no small cost to myself. I came to you as a leader. But I did not shy away from showing you vulnerability. I needed you as much as you needed me. I was not above recognizing this. When you discovered my true identity, I did not flinch from the truth. I never lied to you. Not once. I am just like you. We have the same enemy. The same story. I encouraged you to fulfill your potential. All while protecting you from harm. Now I ask you for the last time to trust me. Release the nether stones to me. That's an interesting view of everything that we've been through. <laughs> I definitely do not agree with it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be a mind player, nor do I trust you. Unfortunately, whatever hero that you were, it's been consumed. Do you remember what just happened on the streets? You had someone who turned into a mind flayer. Immediately, they went to kill. Come on now. It's really only Omelium that I would trust. Thankfully, they got away from all this nonsense, but... Here we go. Enough. I have the hammer. I will free Orpheus. I told you we have to trust one another. I told you the Githyanki would only want to kill you for what you are. Still, you choose to break our alliance. Even united, the Netherbrain was going to be an impossible enemy. But apart, we have no chance of survival. Very well. Since you will not work with me, you work against me. You leave me no option but to join the Netherbrain. Really? 
with the hammer and free the prince of the comet. Gith's beloved son will lead us to a sure victory against the Netherbrain. I do wonder. I've gotten the hammer equipped. We're all washed up too. I wonder if we're going to be railroaded into certain choices. If I was a DM, regardless of what the players picked out, I would have some manner of finale that would work with what they picked out. But it is a game. So maybe that won't be the case. Keep in mind, no matter what, Edrahill refuses to become a mind flayer. It's a tragic fate. Whenever you become one, whoever you were, it's gone for good. You're no longer that. Your soul is consumed. Nothing is left. I do wonder what would happen if Orpheus did free his people from the queen, of course. I mean, we're from our realm. We're about defending our people in our realm. We have a partner, Shadowheart, and thanks to the two of them being together, their wounds are being healed together. What if Edrahill was dead and Shadowheart didn't have him? I'm sure she would find a way to move on, sure, but it would be tragic. I'm trying to think about it as someone who might want to live, who would be willing to sacrifice his life, but maybe not his soul. That's a completely different question. We live in a space where of course, you have a soul. Of course, there's an afterlife. Death won't take me yet. That changes up a lot. All right, there's one. Here's another. You are now free. The Yankee Prince takes his blade, a silent cry pierces your head. It's unlike any sensation you've ever felt. You reek of illithid. You stole an unborn hatchling from my people. And you slaughtered my honor guard. Nonetheless, it seems we must be allies. Your Majesty. The Prince of the Comet, Gith's true heir. It is an honor. Do not patronize me. You rejected the Illithid when it no longer suited your needs. No doubt you freed me because it suits you now. I will neither forgive nor forget your abuse of my powers. I had no choice. Without your powers, I would have died. That is true. And it would have been the honorable outcome for one destined to become Gake. You had the opportunity to surrender yourself to my honor guard. They would have given you a noble end. They would have freed me, and I would have stopped the Elder Brain before it evolved into a Nether Brain. All that suffering. Avoidable. Were it not for the choices you made. You went through a lot, so I'll ignore that. Do you have an idea how to stop the brain? Yes, I do. The Gake was correct about one thing. The Netherbrain's power is beyond us. The hardest metal in the world would not cut through its mind, for it is made of thought itself. At this point, it will take an Illithid to unleash the full potential of the Netherstones. Really now? That's it? Those are our only choices? Orpheus, you're so powerful, there's no way. There should be a way. I mean, your power alone has kept us free this entire time, and you weren't even fully conscious of it. You're so powerful that I refuse to believe that. I believe that there is another way. We're not given it, but I do believe there is another way. It's tragic that we have to take a certain path, but again, Orpheus is so powerful that I would think that with him, we would be able to defeat the Netherbrain. It's new. You just got here. I mean, I suppose you were fully aware of what was going on. Maybe you were able to see through my eyes because 
I had your power to shield me from the brain, but if you're still able to keep me free from the nether brain, not the elder brain, but the nether brain, then I feel like you've got the power to do more, that we could fight it, that we could win. We've beaten everyone else, so why not the nether brain? Come on now. <sighs> All right. I'm not becoming a mind flayer. There has to be another way. There is not. We face a nether brain. For there to be one way to defeat it is unlikely enough. There will not be another. We haven't even tried. Come on now. What would stop us, really? So we've got to become one, because then we could be brainier, I suppose. I'm not becoming a mind flayer. It's not happening. Andrew Hill will not do that. Because, all right, let's be quite clear. In the context of Baldur's Gate 3, yes, it is a world-ending scenario. From what I understand, from what's written, it's not like we're the only party who's going towards an end to solve what's going on. There's other parties out there. There's other groups of people who are trying to find an end. Obviously, we don't interact with them. But how many times in the tabletop do you have some world-ending scenario? It's one of many. These are common. It's only one world-ending scenario right here and now. We're not even close to level 20. So that lets you know that there's even more consequential situations going on out there. We just happen to be at one of them. So if Edrahill is gone, is Orpheus going to stick around to protect Shadowheart? To protect Jahira, Lazel, whoever else? No, he's not going to be here. He's going to be back with his people, which is good. However, we're thinking about our people, our own lives, our order. Keep in mind, I do have a backstory. I don't really get a chance to really talk about it too much. But in the very beginning, we're part of an order. We do have one deity that we do pray to, that we do adhere to, the Red Lady. And we're not about what's going on here. We'll continue to fight. We'll continue to do good. So it's either Orpheus goes back to his people to do good, or we stay here and we do good for our own people, for everyone on Faerun. So it's a very difficult decision. I've been forced into making a decision. I feel like there's other options, but again, it's not me playing at a table. It's a video game. So I've got to really consider what I get to do here, right here and now. In Edrahill, he's not going to become a mind flayer. Just as I was free, I will do it. I will become illithid. I will sacrifice my soul for my people. I will end the grand design. My prince, you cannot. This is not your burden to bear. Ah, uh, orthogonality. Okay. You are a true hero. The nether brain will be only too pleased to claim me. My prince, no! Even in my darkest hours, I knew it was my destiny to save my people. I could never have imagined this would be the way. Give Kartavkeem crushed. <laughs> We don't have a tadpole, though. Not that I know of. No, you don't. the grand design is ended kill me it is the very least you can do
to find a way through. If only the gifts are right were here, that would be awesome. We could attempt to sneak past you just find our way through. Well, I'm not gonna sneak past, no. Let's go on through. I do wonder, again, if they weren't under the queen, what would the Gith Yankee do? Would they still be a rather brutal space pirate crew? Just raiding and taking what they wanted. I don't know. All right, up we go. Let's go talk to someone up here. You know, I'm often reminded of recency bias. When I think back to Act 1, Voss burned down a bridge with his dragon killing people, and he chastised his own people for not killing even more, for leaving them alive to interrogate, or at least to kill them after they were interrogated. So the Gith Yankee, again, in our viewpoint on Faerun, they would probably be pretty evil. Anyway. And yet it is. Orpheus took this form so we could defeat the Nether Brain. Orpheus, my prince, what's become of you? The grand design must be ended. A sacrifice had to be made. The duty fell to me. I am not long for this world or any other. What of Vlakith? What of our liberty? You underestimate your own people. Their imaginations have kept the name Orpheus alive for millennia. Bring them my message. Tell them my fate. Some will doubt. Some will mock. But some will listen. And the spark will be lit. Right. And if you really want to delve into it, you can look into why there's even... Gizarai to begin with. And so the Gith Yankee, if under Orpheus, anyway, they wouldn't be morally good, most likely. I mean, we could talk about that, we could discuss it. I do wish we could have given the egg over to Lazel. We didn't even really have an option for that, did we? No, I don't believe we did. Not a single mention. Alright, well. Gith Yankee freedom means nothing. It's a grand design comes to pass. We need your help, boss. Find your nerve, my friend. Today we strike at the brain. This champion holds the key to the Grand Design's end. Answer to him as you would to me. Your Majesty. I have spoken. As you wish. I stand at the ready. Your friendship. Your constancy. When I fell to despair, they elated me. Thank you, my friend. Shabazai. Shabazai. Now, to the nether brain. Let it be the first victim in the war for the skies. We have lost much already. And we will lose more before the day is out. But even when the last soul falls, Baldur's Gate will stand. For Baldur's Gate is more than just a city. It is more than a place of opportunity for those of mercantile spirit. More than a place of refuge for those who are lost. More than a home for friends, loved ones, and adventuring souls. Baldur's Gate is a place where anyone can find what they need, if they're just willing to fight for it. Today, Baldur's Gate needs us. Today, we fight for... Your late friend? This is the one you spoke of. The very same. The champion we've been waiting for. The one who will save Baldur's Gate from ruin. The fist examines your illithid ally with suspicion. 
He was not expecting the savior of Baldur's Gate to be accompanied by a mind flow. Appearances may change, but they do not mask the one within. This one, I know. Observe with whom it traveleth. Friends. This mind flare will fight with thee. It will save thy city and thy lives. The fist eyes your lithid ally with suspicion, softening to curiosity. His hostility melting at the recognition that there's more behind those eyes than malice. My steel is yours, and I'm not alone. You helped me once. I figured it's time I paid you back. With magic. I'm better at crafting steel than wielding it. Your friend here is armored and potion-fueled and ready for battle. I have marshaled the best the Flaming Fist has to offer. We will fight to the last. You've unexpected friends. <laughs> but my debt to you still stands. The Iron Hand Gnome's firepower is yours to command. Just show us where it's needed. The Moon Maiden's silver light is a shield in dark times. Today, it is mine to wield. And I hold her sword. Whatever strength I have to lend, I will lend it. I will make my city proud again. You can count on me, little rabbit, and your squiddy friend. I thirst for the hunt. I made some improvements to Ramesses' arcane artillery. Give the word and the sky falls on any who stand in your way. I'm in the mood to crack some skulls after that fuckery in the Temple of Baal. The City Watch will be glad to oblige me. Not sure what I have to offer a mind flare, if I'm honest. But I hope my words of encouragement and reassurance will strengthen your uh, resolve. The journey has been brutal. But I stand here a hell rider once more. And I would die a proud man if I died this day. I want my city back. And I've brought the toughest bastards from the guild to get the job done. My people have never hunted a monster this large. They are eager to join the fray. All the strength of the lands we healed flows through me. And from me to you. And whatever company you keep. Nature's servant awaits. Glad to have you with us. And not a moment too soon. The air is thick with anticipation. All eyes are on you. They're expecting a speech. Something to stir their hearts and put fire in their bellies for the fight ahead. You know, before we go on to do that, I also thought about it. Think about that egg it took a long time to hatch that would have been destroyed before hatching. How powerful it was. How it took out the entire society of brilliance. Or most of it. So that tells me there's a lot of great power out there when it comes to the Githyanki. Do they truly need the prince? Maybe not. Anyway. Let's see here. We've got many options. To blunt death and slaughter. That's a lot. All right, hold on. Embrace your courage and let it guide you through battle. Don't give in to fear. Well said. We'll prepare ourselves. We'll be ready when you call upon us. Baldurin's grace be with you. Okay, that feels pretty weird. The entire game we spent gathering allies, it reminds me of Mass Effect 2. <laughs> Well, let's talk to everyone. Why not? I'm glad you're here. The Illithid, too. Though it'll take some getting used to. Have courage, my friend. Your victory is assured. Onwards. There is no reason to linger here. The sooner we get this done, the sooner we can get a pint. Assuming there's an inn still stand. Come on. Speeches are done. All that's left is the doing. We face the greatest evil our realm has known. And we do it together. 
On your word, the sword of Saluna will fall upon our foes. I feel like I only need her. I would love to have any adventure with her. That would be incredible if you had some manner of expansion going up to level 20 where you had Dame Aelin on your side. <laughs> Press on. This will all be over soon. And then, my gods, I'm having something very strong indeed. Someone want to clean up that dead body? I just saw it. Come on, don't leave it there. That's very rude. Today, we take back the city. Hmm. Smells like violence all round. Smoke, blood, tears. <laughs> this will be a good hunt. Hurry on and start the attack. Need to find a way forward. We stand ready to help you, as you helped us. Wait, Cole the Red? Wait, who are you? What are you doing here? Bodies, bloods, this is the dream. Knew I was smart to sneaks in. The skelly boy said I could stay if I sold your stuff. So hurry up. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, there's so much I want to see. You do know there's about to be a huge battle, right? Really? Oh, don't you go getting chopped up. I need customers. I believe you. What do you have? I'm curious. Well, I've got plenty of goods that are worth a lot of money, but I just need to buy a few things, like a few potions. We've got angelic slumber. Okay. I've got money for that. Don't worry about it. Cloud giant strength. I've got that too. In fact, I'll take all of these. I mean, I might as well just pick it all up. Let's see. An arrow of many targets. You never know. And I'll come back for more stuff if I need to pick it up, but I might as well have a few options for the upcoming battle. We definitely want to have that because you don't know what might happen, what evil might be out there. All right. Take it. You've got it. Don't go dying. I'll be real mad. I kind of wish you were like a strange recurring character that I saw throughout the entire game where you just like pop up with your goods and it's like how the hell did you get here and he's like don't worry about it do you want to buy stuff i think that would be great because i like that character already <laughs> zevlory yeah you gotta vanish bud okay so we're not chatting what about roland who i love so much you have the full force of ramazis tower and its dashing master at your side my friend let us finish this Naturally, naturally. All right. Well, what about like some potion of animal speaking? Do I have that? I don't think I do right now. We'll blast. I would like to talk to that. Well, your forces are not insubstantial. Deploy them at the correct moment, and we may yet triumph. Hopefully. Who's over here? Oh, poor Barkus. Having a bad day, bud. Never thought our first meeting would land us here. Of all places. But here we are. And here I was hoping to fight more goblins. Hoot. I agree. I also give a hoot. All right. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. I still would rather have hirelings who were just people, not puppets for you to use. That makes me sad. If thou art ready, Proceed to seal fate's image with thy final stitch. Even I was surprised by how well the owlbear would take to the potions. <laughs> Just look at it. Glorious little creature. Well, not so little anymore. And Arabella. I wouldn't be here without you. It's time I repaid the favor. Feels good to have some pretty good allies. All right, then. Let's go over to the stairs. 
Bunch of dead people. No one that we know. Oh, okay. I'll talk to all of you later, I suppose. Huh. <laughs> that was strange. Hey, get out of here, civilians. You don't want to be here. Fall back! Fall back! Matthew! Leave him be! We have to keep running! Is this how the City Watch valiantly defends its home? Mind flare! Mind flare! It's over. He's frightened of your illithid ally, but the very fact it hasn't killed him on sight gives him reason to pause. Can the rumors be true? Is this really the mind flare who could save the city? I'm not actually skipping the dialogue that's happening on its own. Okay, we'll try to use strength. If you leave now, the brain will kill you anyway and turn you into its slaves. You may as well fight with me for your own salvation. A DC of 20 will add guidance to it. And... Let's hope it works out. A 32. Hey. You see his mind racing through its options, finding only one. Against all his better judgment, it's you and your mind flare. Remarkable. Never in all my life did I think to fight alongside a mind flare. Oh. We go back in there, we die, we flee, we last half a day at best. Shit! If this is it, then God damn it, let's make it count. City Watch, with me. We'll follow you to our last breaths. All right, man, let's get a move on. Catch a break. We've got a cult to take down. We've got a semi-deity-like figure to destroy. I like that. We're surrounded. That's okay. I mean, using some potions of invisibility to get closer to them would have been even better. But hey, we're here. A what now? An Inquisitor. All right. I mean, if you want to fight, I'm ready for it. So what are we going to do about that? Hellcrawler. Yeah, let's pop one up. Let's do that. And we're here. I'll take a bit of fire damage. I don't mind. Attack once. Attack again. 28 HP left. That's not a lot. We're going to use our action surge just to get rid of them. Got him. All right, that's one enemy done for. I've got another one to go after. I wonder, could I use a trip attack disadvantage? That would be unfortunate. A high chance to actually strike them. I'll try to hit you, Mistress of Souls. So you're now prone. Nice. All right, let's move up. Halo of Spores. I can't hit you. That's okay. We'll just wait here. And she's done. Shadowheart, it's about to be your turn. Lazel, you're meant to go hunting for some Gith Yankee. I'm kidding. No, you're here to go after mine, players. You wouldn't hurt your own people. No, you have many times, actually. All right, we'll try to get closer and beat them up. But actually, you know what? Don't do that. Instead, come up here. Yeah. I'll probably let Orpheus go after the Illithid. Yeah, let's do that instead. All right, so I need to knock you prone. We'll turn off Great Weapon Master to have a higher chance to hit. There it is. They're now prone, so we've got advantage. We'll turn it back on. Then swing away. 14 HP. One more attack. Ooh. A little bit of HP left. Okay, well, if they want to move away, they'll take some damage. We'll wait there. And Shadowheart, it's your turn. Let me think about it. There's a lot I could do here right now. I've got to be careful because I don't know what they're going to be able to do to me. If I cast a spell, will they be able to stop it? I could keep it simple and try that out using a fireball. A low chance to hit, but let's go. Let's go for it. Psionic Backlash. Okay, from Orpheus. We'll do that. Well, there goes your counter spell. I mean, we've dealt with it before. That's why it's good to just kind of be ready for spells like that. Okay, you're calling for reinforcements. That's fine. Andrew Hill, you could go after that Arcanus, but the HP is rather low. Normally, Act 1 Andrew Hill will go straight after the goblins, but <laughs> we'll go after the one calling for reinforcements for right now. 
Hello. Oh, a critical miss. Aren't you lucky? One hit. One dead wing tourer. All done. Okay, you're getting back up. Aren't you lucky? You're moving inside. Trying to do what then? Oh, nothing. Okay. Well, let's move over here. We've got a nebulous black hole. Okay, we'll use that ability. We don't want to hit our team. I don't know if it has like any friendly fire, but we'll see. No, we're fine. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Very nice. We could do it again for fun. Let's go. They're all grouped up. I like that. I could use a potent blast, a mind blast. We'll do that instead. Let's go. All right. So we killed two. I'm still able to attack again. Dear God, man. That's incredible. All right. So you're not dead. You're about to be, though. High chance to hit. We've got what else? Fracture Psyche. That's fine. Stage Fright. Very cute. Sonic Overload. Yeah. I mean, I could just do it. I could just go blasting. An entire group wiped out. That's a lot of power. Well, that worked out. Okay, so we'll just move you over to the left. Mine Sanctuary depleted. Ooh. All right, wait there for right now. And what do we have over here? A backlash. Well, they have one HP, so yeah, now they're dead. The goblins are dashing. I was hoping to fight more. Oh, there's another wave close by. A smoke powder barrel right there. The watchmen, I don't really need them, but again, I can't tell them no, don't defend your city. I mean, I did convince them to do just that. All right, Jahira. Do you truly need to go over here? Probably not. Are we going to do it anyway? Yeah, why not? No joy in this. Ah. All right. Another attack. And it's over for you. You are dead, Mistress of Souls. What a haughty title. All right. Let's get out of here. It's time to move around somewhere. We took out a few enemies. I guess you could have moved through here or tried to. There's a goblin tracker. Could you shoot? Use a smoke powder arrow. Maybe shoot inside somewhere and damage it a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, we'll go for it. We got it. Another one dead. Okay. Everyone inside is safe. That goblin is dead. We're back over to Shadowheart. Shadowheart, I do want you to get up here, but it wouldn't be easy for you to do that. You would have to use a Misty Step. I know I've got a necklace for it, but I'm just going to have you move through the middle. I'll have someone come join you later on. You've got a shatter, a thunder wave you could use as well. Well, if they were closer. Yeah. We'll just have you wait. You don't need to waste what you have. It's really not needed. Holy crap, that is a lot of goblins. Jeez. All right, let's see. They only have so much HP. But... That's all right. Let's get to swinging. Oh, a critical miss. Wow. I don't need great weapon master. That was a bad roll anyway. Let's go over here to kill another one. It's going to be a long battle, I think. Jeez, man. Yeah, I didn't think it would be short. catch my breath. Okay, Adrahill, if you want to trigger another portion of the battle, that's fine. That's just going to happen. Oh, yeah. Here we go. More to fight. Though, let's see. Can I shoot? Oh, I can't shoot down over here like I want to. Damn it. Oh, I was really hoping to just burn them up like that. But I can't do it. I mean, I could use a haste. Yeah, I've got my potions, I guess. We'll do it. It's not nearly as good as it used to be. But I do want to move closer because I want to use that damn arrow. Just to hurt a whole bunch of goblins. All right. If I blow these up. That should get them, I would imagine. If I'm wrong, so be it. But here we go. Finally, some goblin slaying. Oh, I've been waiting for that. All right, so they're in danger. Ooh, a spectator. Oh, things are getting a little spicy around here. I'll use a misty step to get down there if I need to. I don't need to right now. I'm fine. That's good to know, though. All right. I suppose you'll go join Shadowheart. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. We've got a few buddies up here. Another black hole that I could use somewhere. Like right here, for fun. 
I don't really need the barrels, do I? Not really. Ooh, that was a decent amount of damage. Yeah, we'll do it again if we can, and we can. We could also try to bring down that spectator. I mean, there's a lot I'm able to do right now, but we'll just uh, do the thing. Ooh, nice. It's dead. Just outright dead. Okay. I guess I could wait here. Transfuse health. Ooh, a beast shape. You could transform into one. Bunch of cool abilities that we have. Not all needed. And I'm sure I could use them in a better way, but, you know. It's alright. We're winning. It's not like I've had time to adjust to having those capabilities. Watchman Fry. Ooh, good strike. Nice. He missed. But you got him then. Nice work. Okay, only one more to go. Do I really need to go after them? Probably not. We just move on, I guess. I'm fury. I am Whoa. Deep. Okay, so you're pretty far out to the point where it'll be doing that. Oh, that's not going to be fun at all. All right, we'll take out the one goblin right by us. Then after that, we'll shoot the other one. We got them all. Next, what we'll do, we just want to keep on moving way over here. It's close as we're able to get. I could fly, but I've made my choice. I don't have wings. Sometimes I forget. All right. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch up here that she could probably kill on her own, I would imagine. It's just going to be a pretty wild battle, I think. It's going to take us a bit to get through it. It's going to be a very, very long fight. Okay, Jahira, it's your turn. So you're going to dash. Yeah, more are now moving in. I get it. I understand. Go way over here. Okay, cool. All done. We've got Shadowheart, who's moving up. Shadowheart, you're going to use a Chain Lightning on that one Mind Flayer. Destructive Wrath. We got him. 8 HP left. Not a lot. Okay, now if you want to, you could fly. If you had more movement, that would be nice. But we could just move you, I guess, down over here. You'll come back. Yeah, her casting is scary. Just being able to do that. Ooh, calling for help. Okay. I mean, if you want to call for help, you need it. I agree. I'll jump right over here with Edrahill. He's going to be surrounded by enemies, but he doesn't care. Executioner. Oh, I thought we were going to fight the brain, but we're not going to fight the brain yet. Okay, I get it. We're not doing it yet. I understand. We could shoot the Mind Flayer. Let's see that. It's nearly dead anyway. I'll just keep on using that option to skip it. And after that, yeah, it's been an arrow of ice. Let's go. Again, we don't want to use it. Critical hit. I'm able to strike again. I've got that haste going on. Of course, I'll become lethargic very soon. That won't be fun. I mean, if you think so. A wounding ray on Orpheus. Ah, a paralyzing one. Oh, you got him. Nice work. Deadly. All right. You can't move, unfortunately. The Watchmen, they're moving. They're going to help out a little bit. We've got more enemies to fight. Yeah, I know. All right. So we need to get somewhere. We need to move a little bit further away. I'm going to have to jump up and... Well, let's see. Where are they at? Are they just over here to the left? I would imagine. Yeah, they are over there. I didn't want to use my arrow of transposition. Not yet. I would rather get down there somehow. I could use Featherfall, but... Anyway, let's see. Let's what jump up. This? I'll make my way down there. We're going to be okay, I think. I can't do too much right now. I was hoping to do some shooting. Well, I guess I could still do some shooting. Yeah. Disadvantage or not. A guiding Bolt. Nice hit. Wow. Okay. Let's go again. Yeah, those were great hits. That was a lot of damage. Are you using a ranged attack? Yeah, I built Jahira and I turned her into a monster. If I had Karlak here, oh, she would be a monster too. I feel bad because she's going to have to go back to Avernus or just die. But that means there's time to find some manner of solution. That's what that means to me, at least. All right, let's see. I only have one action. I wish Create Water was a bonus action. That would be sweet, but it's not. So, again, only so much I'm able to do. I could use a Shocking Grasp. 
I could do a lot with that. I've got a lightning bolt. I wanted to try that out. Well, no, I need to be a little bit closer. Call lightning. Let's see, if I do that... For 10 turns, I could call it down again. Nice. you think there'd be more puddles of water. Let's go. 35 damage. And if I want to, I'll use it again. All right, let's fly up. We'll get closer. Mental fatigue, reverberation. Right, I've got that build. I'm all about reverberation. Once I hit five, then they take more damage. Okay, all done. Now for Lazel. Lazel? Oh, we've got some enemies down over here. I see them. Well, let's go kill them. I like how we're all spread out. Normally, I wouldn't do that, but I've got a very powerful team. I'm going to be okay. All right, cleave. Well, I want to hit more of them if I'm going to use a cleave. Need to be a little bit closer. Oh, shoot. I can't quite make it, but let's knock one prone. Okay, we got our great weapon master. A cleave now. We hit him again. One more attack. Got that mind flare. She gets to kill her enemies finally. I bet that feels good. All right. I would like to very much move closer, but I can't do that. Oh, blast. Well, such is life. I'll just bring out my sword again. And now we've got those little loading screens. It's funny because they're not that far away, but hey. All right, so you're way over here and you want to bother me, huh? You've made <laughs> here comes Edrahill on his own, probably triggering more fights somewhere, I would think. Ooh, tadpole charm. Gross. Nope, we're not using it. Dead. We'll go after the other one. No reinforcements for you, hopefully. Do it again. Got that one. Another attack. Thank you, haste. That saves me a little bit of time. Damn. Yeah, get away if you want to. Try to. I could use it for a critical hit. I'm choosing not to. Yeah, we'll use level two. I've got some potions to allow me to have like a short rest and a long rest, as I mentioned before. So we could use it after unless there's a, a new battle or maybe a cutscene to stop that calling for help again. All right, so I'll go after that. I wonder if it summons in new enemies or maybe. I don't know. Just alerts more of them. Wow, Orpheus is able to take a lot of damage. I didn't really realize it would be that bad, but now I know. And unfortunately, you're stunned again. The Watchmen, if they were down here to help me out. Oh, my God, you jumped down, you crazy person. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Please don't do that again. You crazy people. I mean, they hit so hard. They're really good at that. All right. What I really need help with right now is taking out the spectator because there was a stun. And so we definitely do need to get down here. Last it all. Well, let's go right over here. It shouldn't be that hard. I mean, Shadowheart could probably take care of it on their own, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they could, but if she misses or something, or if I hit someone else, then there's the danger. I could just try to shoot. A critical miss. I mean, that was bound to happen. I'll try again. I know I'm gambling a bit by doing this, but I've made my decision. There we go. 15 HP. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. Now we're able to move just wherever. I don't know if there's like more enemies to worry about out here, but we've killed a lot of them as it currently stands. Oh, hi there. Okay, so I do need to get down there. Yeah, there's a lot more enemies to worry about. Here's a backlash, two damage, not a lot, but yeah, I'll have to patch up Orpheus, get him to drink a potion or something fun. All right, I've got call lightning. Don't want it to hit you, bud. So let's go and do that. Got it. Thank you, reverberation. Cool, she did it. All right, so we'll just have her fly uh, over here to the left on top of the stairs. Oh, there's a lot more to worry about. Well, there is always going to be a lot more to worry about. Let's go take out the devourers that are right by Lazel. She's done it. Okay, so now we'll just fly somewhere. It depends. Ah, there you are. So you're calling for reinforcements. I get it. I get it, bud. All right. A trip attack. Decent chance to hit. Got it in one hit. <laughs> Damn. All right. We got more goblins up here. You can't fly up there. Ooh. 
They're very weak, so I don't really care about them. I can't really do too much from where I'm at. It depends if I'm able to use my bow on a... anyone. No, I'm not. Boo, again. Wait, what about you up here, goblin? Nope. All right, fine. I've got Misty Step. I'm not using it. I mean, a long rest, yeah. Just in case my potion doesn't actually accommodate that and give me back all my spells. That would be unfortunate. Okay, so now what do we do? We just move over here? That's what we do. We move as close as we can. Like that. I don't see any enemies down to the right, so we just need to whoop, almost fly. Just get very close to flying. And then, and then, we get to move even closer. And the goblins all scream, Oh my god, why is he here? It's Hill. he's killed everyone, even the younglings. Oh yeah, especially the younglings. The goblinlings? Cool. And again. He's like, yes, finally my job. Oh, I was hoping to fight more goblins all throughout the game. Did I want to be a goblin slayer the entire game? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, holy crap. Wait, what did you get there? I guess I missed you. My bad. I'll have to go after you next. This poor watchman. Did it work out? Oh, you got dominated. Crap. All right, I'll have to go do something about that one. Well, I've got the powers. Let's go, Mind Flayer. Mind Flayer battle. Concentration broken. Nice. So you haven't been stunned. Mind Blast. We could try it out, though. Ooh, a save. Lucky, lucky. A forced tunnel. A black hole. Let's try it out. Deal so much damage. We'll just do it again. We'll just do it again. Got that one too. All right. Wiped out another enemy. Orpheus is still alive. Doing okay. And the Watchman. Oh, yeah. See, I wish it would never load and we could have like more of a macro view like that. That's pretty good. Okay, so we only have what? Only one enemy left. Around. That person. Damn, you are super dead, aren't you? Yeah, you're super dead. Into battle. That's impressive. I didn't know you'd be super dead. That's a power in and of itself. Oh, I hate being that far away, but let's just get to shooting. I mean, I've got, let's see, over here, a short rest, huh? To frighten my enemy. Give it a go. Frightened. It worked out. Okay. Got that guiding bolt. We'll keep on shooting. Another hit. And done. Oh, no. You're too scared. You missed him. Ooh, decent amount of damage that time. We'll call out another call lightning. Right over here. That's a lot of damage. Reverberation, they're now prone. That's why it's so powerful, it's so good, just because you're able to do that. All right, we'll jump down over here with Lazelle and finish off our last enemy. I could pick up these tanks. I guess I might do that. You never know if I will be able to use it or if I will need it. Yeah. So I'm going to take a moment, I guess, to patch everyone up to check for loot just because there could be potions. And then we'll finally move on. I don't know what the Watchmen are going to do. Are they going to talk to me or just move somewhere else? Yeah, I guess they're just moving up. They're going back up to the right. So I want to also just like look around to see if there's anything else. I guess I just need to go through the main entrance. I found a few decent potions and two more goblins to kill. Hooray. What a good day for me. All right, who's inside? Yeah, I get it, but you're safe. If you're going to do it, just make it quick and painless. Excuse me. I'm not here to kill you. You're not? Then you're letting us go? Just like that? That outfit. It might be doing things to Edrail. Yeah, get out of here. Thank you. You're getting to safety too, right? Well. I don't think they are. They're heading toward the worst of it. Here. Protection for you and your friends. Tilly, let's go! Yeah, get out of here. You're safe. You're gonna be okay. As for my enemies, not so much. I've been finding a few notes. It's been adorable. <laughs> It's really telling you a story about what's been going on. That's a lot of dragons. Holy crap. 
That's insane, man. All right, what else do we have? Not too much. Is that going to lead us further inside? Because we don't want to go in there just yet. Oh, it's locked? Well, 84 damage plus one from Radiant. That's amazing. Another elixir till a long rest. Oh, that could be handy for sure. I've got plenty of strength. That might be the call. Who knows? All right, let's go back down and open up. Didn't think I had any more fight left in me, but I'm glad to be wrong. If the city's still standing when this is over, I'll owe you. We all will. Glad to hear it. Don't follow me. Don't come in. You won't want to. Okay, so we're not quite there. There's a brainstem, but not the brain. It looks like part of the nether brain. But we'll need to be higher up to climb it. Alright, let's do just that. Let's see, what do we have over here? Another devourer. Okay, well, I'll try to jump up those stairs if I can. That would be nice. Oh, hello. Listen, I'll fight a chef. Edger Hill will do it. You know he's crazy. Oh, they're shooting at us. Uh-oh. Okay, who's going to move first? Jahira, you're kind of in the way, so I'll let you do it. Edger Hill, you're way up there. Interesting. More enemies. One invoker of ball. Wait. They're here too? Okay. I mean, if you want to die. All right, trash. Do what you want. Oh, I didn't use my long strider. That would have been handy. I need to use it afterwards. I could ever use creator destroy water. That way, Shadowheart would deal more damage. All right. Anyway, let's do some shooting. Critical miss. It's not consequential. Not really. There's a hit. We're just here to chill out. Maybe hit a few targets if we can. And move up. Alright, Sacred Flame. The main damage dealers right now might be Edrahill. And probably Orpheus. Alright, Lazel. If you can't jump over here, that's fine. Just get closer. We all need to move closer. Can you hit anything or try to? Nope. All right, then. Well, that's cool. If you dash, you're able to move up. Nice. Yeah, that'll work then. Perfect. Can't move again, but you don't need to. All right. Levitate. Let's levitate way over here. <laughs> All right. We've got plenty of actions and bonus actions. We've got key points. We've got spell slots, too. Well, I'm in my nasty form so i'm gonna use my black hole my favorite all right so there's an enemy that i want to move over to the ledge that would be nice let's try it out one black hole oh you didn't move that's okay i'll keep on trying i'm not gonna give up oh you're not being hit aren't you lucky well i could try to move you somewhere else like maybe Oh, if I could, like, move you over the ledge, that would be better. A lot better. Let's see. I could try. I saw it work out somewhere. But where else could I try to bring you? Yeah, you're a tough one, huh? Either way. Here's another attack. All right, so I've shifted you over a little bit. We're not done. It's all about the holes today. Come on down. All right. Oh, if only you made it over into that artillery radius. That would have been sweet. We're still going to be okay, I think. Yeah, I think we... Oh, holy crap. You're able to move up again. Damn. Now that's power. Okay, I like that. That is a lot of power. All right, Adriel. You'll move here. Kill that... Let's see. Black Gauntlet done you don't have your bonus action which is unfortunate i wish you did but you don't so we'll have to wait for a moment no loot in there i was hoping i was really hoping no potions Boo. all right turn over they're shooting how much hp Thirteen thousand. yeah i could take care of you i'll do it it's a tough statue all right What's moving around? 
no enemies outside of that one intellect devourer. They're hitting everywhere. I mean everywhere. Yeah, that would have been some bad damage. Could I have won? Sure, if I was hit. Not that I want to be hit. Whoa. All right. So we got to keep on moving. That much I'm sure of. So let's use our very powerful ability. It's just too good. I can't avoid it. I just can't. It's too good. Get black hole sudden. Yep, got them. Also blew up even better. We're just going to clean up. Yeah, we'll just keep on doing that. <laughs> it's so good, man. All right. Oh, misclicked. I was hoping to shoot them over. Claws on Orpheus. Oh, hey, I forgot about you. My bad. Charmed. Hey, bud. All right, we're going to move up, get out of that artillery strike range. Come back over here. Well, that worked out. And later, another one gone. Try to levitate there, bud. You can't fly. You're levitating. All right. That brine is a bit annoying. I'm not going to go on that brine. And you're good. All done. Now it's time for Shadowheart to move. We're able to ignore all the other enemies. So let's see. How do we get up here? I guess we dash. Yeah. Lazel. You've got power. Come on, try to push it. You can't do it. Oh, you failed. Wow. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I'll move you over here. You're just out of range. Play it safe, though. Let's keep you close. All right, you're done, too. And Jahira, you'll move up. Okay. One brain left. I'll get you. Your turn, Hill. Don't. Yeah, cool. I mean, of course, you're able to jump up, but obviously we don't want to jump right now to keep going. I don't want to get hit by artillery. That stuff hurts right, back over to our bow. Let's go shoot that one intellect devourer. I'm not going to use executioner. Wish I could just like pause it for right now. Use it later so I don't have to unequip it, but not really a huge time sink. So we'll be OK. Here comes another barrage. I wonder what type of tools they would be using in the city. I guess ballista, but what type of heavy firepower would they have to even counter what's going on here? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Just destroying everything. And getting to where I need to, that won't be too difficult. Oh, another group. They're still trying. I'll just have to keep on fighting. Yeah, I agree. Only issue over here is that if I move over here, artillery is going to hit that area. I could use an arrow of transposition if I could just see up here, but I can't. Do I have a misty step? Oh, crap, I don't. Well, that's a bit annoying. I thought I had one. Nope, that's not true. Okay, then I guess I'll move right over here or try to that should be out of the range let's go over to Orpheus we're targeting Orpheus an attack of oh wait hold on before I even do that we got to do some shooting but before I do some shooting I'm gonna have to somehow move up here attack without being hit by the artillery and still move on all right and it's not his turn anyway fine I'll just boink luck of the far realms got it and we're just going to move up. We'll keep on trying to kill stuff. I guess I can move over here through the brine. You think I would love brine as Orpheus. All right. We've got our goal. It's simple. It's easy. All right. After that, I'm just going to focus on moving the team. Once we have more enemies, then we'll have some more interesting stuff to do. But for now, it's pretty clean. I just need to maneuver all of our characters. No damage to us. Yeah, Andrew Hill was able to jump over so much of the landscape and then dash up to the door. Reinforcements. I wonder, though, 
if I make it over to the stem, I might just segue over to the next scene. That's very likely. I could just have Orpheus take out what's left. And there's only so many. That might be the case. All right, let's move over here. And you know what I'm going to use. There's only been one choice for me. It's so powerful. I love to do it. I mean, there's other stuff, but who cares? If I like it, I like it. I'll use it. All right, we took them all out. We're able to pop up over here. More reinforcements coming. Who cares? And another black hole just to get rid of that other intellect devourer. Got it. All right. Edrahill, so you're free and clear. There's a gilded chest. Nice. And it's about time for me to go up. Everything. Oh. That was simple. <laughs> Never mind. I wonder when we're going to see Boss and his red dragon. Oh, that's going down. That's going to cause so much damage. Oh, no. You are persistent. You have function. Yeah, I do. Potions. I'll just short rest again. There is still enough to be done this day. I agree. Also, it's time to wash up again. It's what we always do. I mean, it's been raining. You think we would be clean, but we're not. How unfortunate. Okay, let's get everyone together. I've got more than one bottle of water. We'll do it. I like to be all cleaned up. Then it'll be time. Time to finally face the nether brain. There, all clean. Are you ready? I'm ready. Is it just me? Oh god. Are we going to the moon? Oh, they're here too. Good. A dragon. Yeah, I could use some help. Or not. of domination we need to use the nether stones on the crown that is our fated path Here's an interesting battle. We're fighting a dominated red dragon, level 17, the Emperor, who is now a shell. He has no free will. We've got four Dream Guardians and four Illithid Arcanus. 
Spellcasters are rough, even at level 8. I don't like that. Alright. What are we going to do then? How are we going to handle our current situation? Well, first off, I'm going to get Shadowheart to move over to the left. Way over here. Oh, there's... Okay, so we've got a tentacle problem too. Pretty gross. Growing out of your brain, that seems like a problem. And we're going to use Chain Lightning. Let's do that. Let's deal some damage. Destructive Wrath, max damage. We hit quite a few targets. Oh, hello. So that was your legendary action. Okay. Let's fly away. Just a bit over to the left. Nice work. You've got a few potions. Let's make sure they're over here where you're able to drink them. We want to make sure that you're doing fine. I could just open them up by clicking that, I suppose. That's fine, too. But I want to see them. All right, then we've got Adrahil. Adrahil, you're going to go. come on in and just take out the Emperor. You're going to use a Divine Smite level 3. Gods take you first. He's been waiting to shut him up for a very long time. Executioner, the Emperor is gone, finally. A bonus attack too. We'll take out a tentacle. I don't want them trying to grab onto me. That's gross and weird. Don't do that. And after that, well, I still have my... Temporary hit points. I could call upon a good buddy of ours. Yeah, I've got an idea. Here we go. The Dame. We'll call upon the Dame. She's delightful. Perfect. Now, those Illithids, they've got a shield where if I hit them in melee, I'll take damage back. Here she is. Awesome. Okay, we're going to use Lunar Blessing. Moonbeam on nearby enemies, potentially. Not a lot of damage, but I'll take it. All right, let's go. A miss. Uh-oh. You charmed her. Oh, no. So now she's not able to attack you. We'll go after a tentacle then. Yeah, that'll do it. We'll go after that tentacle too. I mean, that cleans up a lot for me anyway. And if I want to, I could just like fly over here and do something else. Yeah, we'll just fly away. I'll come back to you. No, I won't give you anything to throw right now. That'll do it, though. If they want to hit her, keep in mind, she is immortal. She's not going to die. Death greets us all. Okay, Jahira. Not today. Your turn to jump on in, I think. Come on down. And she's down. More tentacles, of course. We'll use a trip attack. Ow. Have fun down below. Another attack from Jahira. One enemy gone. We're gonna use Fungal Infestation just to get up a little buddy. Just a silly little guy. Doing silly little guy stuff. And Jahira's done now. And we'll move over here by a tentacle and a Dream Guardian. Maybe a bad idea, who knows, I don't know. All right. Andrew, you'll move up. You'll go after the dragon. Do we need to? No, I can skip it. Do I want to? Eh. Let's take out a dragon. Sounds like a good time. Lazelle's going to jump down and go after that Dream Guardian. Well, we'll use a cleave just to hit these two together. You're not quite gone. Tragic. There is an attack. And another Dream Guardian to go after. Got that one too. I could use my Action Surge, but nah. All right. Orpheus, it is your turn. We've got a few enemies to get rid of. Oh yeah, take out the tentacles. Do that for me. Oh, nice work. Oh yeah, that really got them. So the dragon still has over 400 HP. You could use Karsus's Compulsion. All right, good to know. Do you need to? Not really. I wanna fly maybe over here. Yeah, don't get attacked, but well, not fly, but levitate. Perfect. A few more tentacles. An attack of opportunity. Lame. All right, fine. I'll get rid of it. Like that. Or I'll try to. That didn't work out. All right, now we got it. It's gone. Let's move up. We're going to use another black hole just to hit two elipids. Just to give them something to think about. Oh, if only I had another one to use. I probably should just use that on them, but it's over. All right. Come over here, zombie. A miss. Huh. You charmed a zombie. 
Got some pretty good charms. All right, Dream Guardian, you're moving back. Mind Flayer Domination, Infernal Resistance. Please make your save. Good, you made your save. Don't get dominated, please. And what do we have over here? Fleeting Dream. Don't nullify it. That's a free counter spell. We'll use Psionic Backlash. Take some damage instead. It's a little handful. Yeah, they're pretty far off. All right. Magic Missile. Oh, no. Hitting Orpheus. Oh, boy. She's been dominated. All right. I'll have to do something about that. <laughs> I'll have to do something about that quickly. I didn't know that they would be able to so easily dominate her. I mean, she's good about fighting, but maybe not thinking too much. It's a lot of burning damage. The zombie's still alive. Undead Fortitude and all that. And attack on Edriel. Okay. She's going to be able to act very soon. If only her initiative wasn't so good. Three more turns until a Nautiloid gets here. That means I need to certainly to get rid of that one Illithid. Because if I don't do that, well, you can see what's going to happen. Let's go over here. Howdy. All right, concentration broken. I can't push you. I wish I could. I'll knock you prone, though. There's some extra damage. Got that one. Got a lot of extra damage. Understood. We'll move over here. We are getting closer. Shadowheart is also going to move up. And Shadowheart could use a nice spell, hopefully. Maybe not way down over here. A call lightning could be pretty good. Yeah, reverberation. Now, if we want to, we've got a free casting. She's going to keep on flying up. Nice. So much for peace. Adriel. I'm going to have you, let's see, use haste for one, drink a potion, topple the big folk, additional damage, you're fighting a large creature, let's do it right now, divine smite level two, 25 damage, not a lot of damage, oh, it broke my concentration though, bad, very bad for me, okay, soul breaker, invalid target, understood, what else could I use right now that would... Do some fun stuff. Well, I can't help Edrahill. Not right now. I could go after other targets. I think I'll have a higher chance of hitting you, but let's just go in and attack. 12 damage. Oh, that's not even really worth it. Not at all. All right. <laughs> let's bring back our great weapon master. Lower chance to hit, but I'll take it anyway. Hey, pretty good. Almost strike. Nah, that's fine. All right, she's doing fine. I might have her call in some allies later. All right, the dame, she did her part. I'm going to have her move over here. Just to go after that one arcanist. Nice. All right. What could we use right now? Level one spell slot. We've got many spell slots. That's true. I mean, you've got that fire shield, but I don't care. Wow. Uh, that's over. <laughs> That's over right now. Man, that was really good. Right, you can't help her. You've got Lunar Flare. Yeah, shoot that. If you can, try to. Ooh, a counter spell. I'll do it again. Or if I can't do it again, I'll just wait. Yeah. All right, Orpheus. We're going to have you just levitate a little bit further up. Right, that one Dream Guardian. I forgot all about it. What I'll do for right now, I'll go after the one Illithid. Let's take it out. Nice work. Then, Extract Brain. No. Concentrated Blast. That's fine, too. We'll just keep on going after the Red Dragon. Is there another Illithid? No. There's not. Well... Drink a potion for one. I should have given you a better one to use, but you had your potion. Back over here, we'll do our business. Can I move down a little bit? Actually, I can. It'll help me take care of that green guardian, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Get a few extra targets to hit. Bring her a little bit closer. And hit the dragon too. There it is. Another enemy that's been hit pretty hard. Look at all that extra damage that's being done. 
So we might even get a chance to patch up a little bit before we do anything else after taking out that dragon. I'm just doing it for the challenge. I know. You're not going to override me. You wiped out your forces, dude. You're in, you're in a bad place, bud. You're just having a bad, bad day. All right. So what could I do? Well, you're pretty far away right now. Sacred Flame, that won't do much of anything. I call lightning. Can I get that to hit? I doubt it. Yeah, you're too far away. Instead, I'll have you dash. Just dash over here. Nice. I think I could go in. Yeah, get closer. And after that, let's see. I could have you jump down to help me attack. Well, if you jump down, you'll take some damage. No, don't take damage. Don't do it. Fungal infestation. That target can't be reanimated. Ooh. All right, so you're over here. I'm going to have you use your symbiotic ability after... Well, hold on. Let me have a look. It's not a bonus action. Good to know. I'll drink a nice potion. We're patched up. Use your ability again. We're prepping for another phase of the battle. All right, you're done. It comes easy these days. Edra Hill, you've got your thing to do now. That dragon's going to hurt you a little. Let's move over here. Just shift over. Just a little smidge. I could have had you use a spell to get some resistance going, but that's all right, too. I'll use a Divine Smite level one. There it is. Use your attack. Whoa, 50 damage. That's a lot of damage. Drink a potion. And do it again. 63 HP. All right. Lazel. I know, you're not doing a lot. I could call upon some allies, but we'll see. Let me have a look. Commander Strike. I've not used that before. Onus of Battle. Yeah, we're all about that onus. That big ol' onus. We'll just swing. Oh! That was really good. Some nice damage, for sure. The Dame. I want the Dame to patch up, too. I should be able to let her drink a potion, right? Yeah! She's looking good! So now we need to do something about this. Gotcha. Well, I'm getting my crew all over here. Not enough. I could have her use a Lunar Flare. 17 HP. A miss. We'll use it again. 15 damage. Oh, you're lucky. Alright, Orpheus. Let's move you over here. Not enough movement. Try out that... Oh, you're not close enough. You're kidding me. Well, you got a dash, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Move over here, bud. Oh, holy crap. All right. There it is. You don't like that, huh? I know I do. Ooh, she's big mad. All right, two HP left, though. Oh, no, a fire breath right there. Yeah, that's damaging, bud. That hurts my feelings a little. Nah, I'm fine. I've got more potions for her. Keep it up. Just have to hold out till the spell is complete. True. Alright, we'll try a sacred flame. You made your save. Lucky lucky. Alright. You'll just wait here for now. Always the same. And no choice but Edril. In fact. We took out a dragon. Knocked out, though, because I'm nice. I'm very nice. I'm not here to kill a dragon. Just kidding. I am. Let's do it right now. Commander Strike. Got it. Bye, dragon. All right. Then we'll jump up. I wanted to use my potion, but that'll have to wait. We took out pretty much everything. Yeah. Need to find a way forward. So now what we'll do, I'll just get everyone in position until we're at the next phase. I guess we get over here and it looks like I just wait for that spell to complete. One turn until the Nautiloid is here and then we just got to watch out for that. All right, there it is. We've got a portal. The brain is weakened. This is our chance. Cannot. Will not. Even bound, its will is stronger than anything you've ever felt. The chains shake, threatening to break at any moment. It's vulnerable, but not defeated. Use the portal. 
We will bring it down together. Okay. I don't like this battlefield. Can no one else move yet? Is it just your turn alone? I guess so. Alright, I'll have you levitate, I guess, over here for now. Do I just need to use it? Well, no, that's only for the crown, so... You, I just hit. A lot. Alright. Let's see here. Force tunnel, a black hole, which I've used a lot of. A concentrated blast. I don't know what's going to happen. It doesn't look good. But we're down here. 31 damage. Any responses? Mind broken. Oh, God. What is that about? Hold on. Let's see here. Oh, you've been slowed. Gotcha. Well, can't be moved by force. I know that. Drink your potion. Stay alive. Do what you can. Does it matter if you move away? I don't really know. These are weird. These are, like, selectable? Huh. All right, so we got to beat it in five turns. You're all alone. Uh-oh. What are you doing? No, no, it might be. We'll see. It's a lot of HP for sure. I'll have to get in here quickly. I mean, quickly. Hurry up. An orb of negation. Oh, hello. Okay, so we need to move. Fast. What about the rest of my team? Wait, how long will that take for it to trigger whatever it does? I don't know. Uh-oh, the Nautiloid is here. Yeah. No kidding. Let's get in there right away. I guess before I even do that, let's get a potion of speed going for Shadow Heart. We'll get inside. Its will is weakening. We have the upper hand. Time to end this. Yeah, we do have the upper hand, huh? Got to take a short rest. Boo. All right. Well, I could use another call lighting. I got my lightning bolt. I'll need to move closer. So, let's see. Oh, I can't call for my allies here. For some reason, I thought I still could do that, but that would be silly because they would have to go through the portal. Right, so I would need to go back out there for them to come join me. I was going to use the Hellriders for Zevlor, but that's okay. We'll just move down for a second. And old person can't do that. I wonder what would be the best option for survival here. Another call lightning at level six. I can make it a free casting. That's true. Let's go for it. Destructive Wrath. Reverberation. Mind broken. I get it. It's going to take a bit to do some stuff. That's why I've got haste going on. And another free casting. Look at all that extra damage. Nice, right? I think so. All right. Let's now get our other buddy inside. We got Jahira. We've got... Everything that we need to hopefully have a victory. A good old victory. I mean, I've only got so many turns to win, so I might as well use my potions. Oh, getting down here is a nightmare. Let's see. I need to figure out a decent way to get down here. I guess I just need to run for now. Jumping would be a problem. I don't have my Featherfall stuff where I would just use any of that. So we'll move as far as we're able to. I'll get there in another turn. What a shame. Bolt of Celestial Light. Let's use it. Well, actually, hold on. What are you considered to be? Let me see. An aberration. Do I have, like, any aberration stuff? Got that amulet, but that's it. All right, then. You've already got your haste. Let's get to shooting. That was a lot of damage. That was pretty good, I think. Let's go for it again. Yeah, that's some... Pretty good shooting there, Jahira. Nice. She's like, I'm going to be in the next game no matter what. <laughs> You're not getting rid of me that easily. All right. You too, bud. Your turn. 
Let's get you with a potion of speed. Perfect. This is it. Its will is weakening. Yeah, no kidding, huh? All right, an arrow of transposition. Definitely need to use that. We bring out what we have right now. Before I even use him, though, let's get the dame and everyone else in here. Wait, what do you mean you can't breach? Oh, wait. No, <laughs> I still have my buddy selected. I thought she could move too right away, but evidently not. Okay, we'll go over to Lizelle. I agree. All right, flying boots or a misty step doesn't really matter. Well, misty step is a nice card to get out of jump for free. Yeah, but I'll use my flying for now. That seems pretty handy. I do have some potions of flying, so we could use that too. I need more movement. Well, that's fine. I'll come down. We'll get closer. And if I can't reach you in melee. I've got my bow. Let's use it. Should have brought my aberration slaying arrows. I came mostly prepared, mostly. Oh, check out all that extra damage. Nice. Survival is all that matters. All right, it's time. Let's do our thing. We've got an action to use. That's true. I could use my giant form. Eh, I really need it. Let's just go for it. Divine Smite, level three. Another attack. Nearly gone in one turn. Orpheus, you could do it. I know you could. Let's see, where is it at? Perilous Strikes, Extract Brain. I mean, that would be a scrumptious snack for sure. I wonder, would you gain all of your powers? That would be a nightmare for sure. Mind Sanctuary. Hmm, let me see. Those within. While in combat, Mind Flayers can use. Gotcha. Let's use it. If I could hit these two together, that would have been awesome, but it'll just be our good buddy there. Edriel. I'll let him do it. And I could probably end it right now. But what else do we have? That nice shield. Yeah, use that on Edriel too. These are great buffs. It's your story, bud. It's your time to do a thing. What else do we have? Devour your foe. Some healing. Okay. You regain hit points. We could try that for fun. You made a save. Okay. We could try it again. We've got a mind blast. What else do we have? Let's see. Reduce your AC. Maybe. You made another save. All right. Let's move. Design once again ended by my line. The brain is on the cusp of its final thought, and it's taking all of Orpheus's strength to keep it there. An opportunity, perhaps. <laughs> Betray? You're kidding. No, go ahead. Command the brain to destroy all tadpoles and then itself. and the screams of legions upon legions of unborn elithids. The pain rips through you, obliterating all thought, all feeling. Your tadpole burns in your brain.
silence. For the first time in a long time, your thoughts are entirely your own. And then, gravity. Everything you did, everything you sacrificed, it was worth it for this. It's done. The Netherbrain is defeated, along with the grand design, praise Mother Gith. And it's good. My powers, they're draining. Just like Mazora said they would. A small price to pay in the grand scheme of things. We've won. But at what cost? The mangled rhymes the bards will make of your name. Mm, perhaps those are the true evil here. I can't feel the tadpole. They must have all died with the brain. That means we can't turn into Mind Flayers. Not that there's necessarily anything wrong with being a Mind Flayer, of course. Even when my time in the prison stretched out like eternity, when escape seemed impossible, I never lost hope. I knew that my destiny was to liberate my people, to return to them triumphant. I was wrong. It seems I can only fulfill one part of my destiny. My people will be liberated, but I cannot return to them. Not like this. You helped me destroy that abomination. Now help me destroy myself. You must kill me. But 
first, Lazel, I need your promise. Carry my hope. Carry my burden. Call my dragons, Kulos and Kuthos, and ride to the Astral Sea. Destroy Vlakith. Release our people. Be our future and our legacy. So here's my big thing. The Gith Yankee have a counter type of faction from long, long ago. The Gith Zerai. They're warrior monks. They were against Gith, wanting to conquer the entire multiverse to just bring destruction upon others. Think about what Lazelle was like when we first met her, how much she has grown and changed. She's always lived according to the will of her people, where it's all about what she thinks she should act like according to tradition and custom. She's never been the author of her own fate. And here we have someone who's trying to shoulder that onto her. There's no Orpheus to help her. We have no idea if she'll be able to succeed. And even if she took down Blackith, the current iteration, the biggest issue with her is that she wants to become a goddess. That's really the big problem. Culturally though, nothing would really change. I mean, if anything, Lazelle enjoyed that life. The Githyanki believe they're better than everyone else. It's only because that she's been here with us that she's grown, that she's changed. So, I think Edrahil would tell her, hey, look, you have found a new purpose here. Stay here. Craft a new fate. Orpheus, again, he's painted as a better character and maybe he could be a unifier or whatever else, but he does praise Mother Gith. So it's really hard to say. There's a lot of speculation that you can make. But again, I mean, she doesn't need to take on that burden. She doesn't need to lose her life and some other cause. If she wants to make that choice on her own, then so be it. But here we go. Let's try it. A DC of 30. We've got a decent bonus. I mean, 8 to 11. We've got advantage too. Let's try it out. Come on. Yes. Okay. Good. If there's any time to get a nat 20, it's right then and there. But thankfully, I do have a lot of charisma anyway, and we had a pretty large bonus, so we probably were going to be fine. Probably. Let's move on. Mother Gith battled for liberty, but it was only here, with you, that I learned what it meant to be free. Yes, I will stay. My destiny is for neither Vlakith nor Orpheus to decree. It is mine. Then my destiny is undone. Until someone can take up my cause, the Gith Yankee will remain chained. I found freedom and then lost myself to this horror for nothing. All that remains is to die. as noble in spirit as he was in bloodline. We're in his debt. A reprieve from the Githyanki invasion. For this day, at least. With the Githyanki gone, there's nothing left but the silence of the city. Smoldering, waiting to be rebuilt. But it seems that Gale's mind is elsewhere. The crown. It's somewhere in the Giontha. If I salvage the stones, I can reforge it. Once I have, I'll return it to Mistra. She'll cure me of my affliction, and I'll finally be free. Better yet, you'll be her chosen again. And a more deserving one this time around. If this adventure has taught me anything, 
is that there are things in this world far more valuable than power. Besides, I'm growing quite fond of this merry band of ours, but I'd quite like to see what happens to it. I'm sure Mithra will summon me soon enough, but until then, I propose we celebrate our victory the mortal way, with a drink in our hands and reckless abandon in our hearts. Now you're talking. After all that, I think I'll need a drink in each hand and a third on the table. But I think right of choosing should fall to you. What'll it be? Well, we've done a lot of work. Normally, I think I would opt for a more pragmatic round. I would say, hey, let's get to work rebuilding the city, but we've done a lot. We survived. We conquered. We did something great. We deserve a break. A celebration sounds perfect. Yes. We should see if the uh, elf song's still standing. I won't imbibe, but I'll be happy to be away from here and in your company. I honestly don't mind what we do once we get to the... Ow! What the... Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, it was... It was nice when it lasted. Ah! I, I'm sorry. I, I have to go. We will find you, Astarian. And Boo will bring a sunflower. We did it, soldier. The city's going to be all right. And so are you. Uh, engine's finally cooked. Held on just long enough. You were spectacular in every way. So are you, my friend, my companion. I adore you. Careful, hot. I never gave up. I did my best. I did my best. That's the one thing I can't beat, isn't it? I wanted to live in my city with my friends. But life is for the living. And I saw... Goodbye, son. Goodbye, sea. No, stop. I won't allow this. Karlak, you're coming with me. Back to Avernus. We can't let her die. Not like this. Not now. You can't. I completely agree. There could be a cure. We just don't have it yet. I mean, think about what we've done. We've saved so many. Maybe one day there will be an option, some pathway, where we get to find a cure for her, where we get to help her, and she gets to come back home. And Will is going to be with her. That's great news. That's really good. She has a friend. And of course, we know how to get there. I would like to imagine that Edrihil would go down there, help her fight, help her survive, help her find a cure. Our job is only just beginning now. We've got one problem solved, but Edrihil wouldn't retire. He wouldn't be done just yet. But go. Will will be with you. You won't be alone anymore. So, what do you say? Die here now, or live on with the blade of Avernus at your side. Zariel won't touch you. I swear it, Karlak. Fine. I'll go. Will. With you. But we have to go. Now. can't hang on much longer. <sighs> hey.
it's over. And it's all because of you. You, who were destined to become a thrall. Thanks to you, there will be no illithid empire, no death god's tyranny. You have earned your place amongst the legends of the Sword Coast. You are the saviors of Baldur's Gate. I was afraid for the briefest moment when I woke this morning. I didn't know where I was. I thought perhaps it had all been a dream, stopping the absolute, saving my parents. Then I realized I was in your arms. We did it. Everything's perfect. Almost, anyway. What do you mean? After everything that happened, with my parents, with Shah, I didn't think I was owed any happiness. I did things. Things that fill me with shame now. There's at least one person who doesn't want me happy. Shah. I felt the wound last night. While you were sleeping. Like some sadistic child de-winging a fly. She can try to twist the knife all she likes. I know I can survive her worst. Nothing she does can sour the fact that I have my family again. That's true. Well, let's see here. Oh, there's a lot that I could say. You deserve to be happy. All of you. Hmm. Well, actually, hold on. I wanted to ask about us. We had a connection, you and I. You're right. I can always rely on you to say the right thing. It's not an exciting life that I lead, but I'd like you to be a part of it. I doubt I'd have anything at all if it wasn't for you. All right. I would like nothing more. Good. Then seek me out when you have time. I'm hoping to find some place I can settle down and stay close to my parents. Somewhere quiet, where they can find peace and gaze at the night sky. I'll keep a spot for you. It'll be just like old times. Well, soldier, here we are. It worked. My engines calmed down. I shouldn't have let you come here. This isn't going to be easy, you know. Zara's going to come at us with everything she's got. Like clockwork. They'll be on us soon, but there's just enough time. <laughs> Thought I was done with these. But then, there was you. But careless. Don't let them tire you out. Just get rid of them. And don't forget. <sighs> you asked for this. Better let these fuckers know I'm back. And this time, I'm not alone. They went straight to it, wow. Shadowheart found your peace in a country farmstead with a pack of pets and a garden of night orchids. 
You were basking beneath the silver moon after a midnight swim one night, when you notice a letter among your discarded clothes. An invitation to a gathering of the friends and allies who stood by your side in the fight against the Absolute. You waste no time in packing and set off on the long road back to where all of your adventures together began. Thou wert called here, some from above, some below. For with thine bond, together thou hast kept the wheel of fate spinning when it threatened to halt. Though thou wert drawn far apart in the months after the collapse of the Absolute, tonight fate renews thy bond once more Thou shouldst take care to preserve it. It is a great weapon wielded in the hand of good. Go. Know one another once more. You don't like me enjoying myself, do you, Shah? Ah, my dear friend, it's been an age, has it not? You're looking very well indeed. Our skeletal friend would be very pleased to see I found my way here, despite my invitation getting lost in the post. It's wonderful to see you, Volo. How have you been? Busy as ever. Better that than the reverse, wouldn't you say? Every major publishing house on the Sword Coast has been vying for my upcoming book on the subject of our adventures together. I've gotten quite good at replicating your signature, so you needn't even bother with the release form. You might help me with the title, though. I'm considering the hero and me. What do you think? Sure, buddy. I love it. I knew you would. Perhaps once the manuscript is finished, you'd even be willing to write a foreword? Or better yet, I'll write a draft and you can just sign your name. Better still, I'll sign it for you. Ah, your success really has been wonderful for my reputation. But you mustn't let me hog your attention all night, my friend. You've many friends to chat to, and I'd love to listen in. Well, now, you can make yourself presentable when you have a mind to. That's true. I miss you too, Jihiro. <laughs> oh, how nice to be understood again. I have spent the past months bickering with builders and bankers, all to restore the city exactly as it was. Same twisting alleys for purse pickers, same wooden buildings ready to get burnt by next year's dragon, same cisterns overflowing. Huh. She's great. <laughs> all right, then. What are the Harpers up to? Hmm, what else? Helping. Whether I ask for it or no. Harpers have come from half the world over to lend aid. Farmers, masons, healers. My own son, Jord, has been wooed to their ranks. Already he plans crop cycles in Worms Crossing. Not so for my daughter. Ryan's rejoined the Flaming Fist. Temporarily, you understand, to organize the craftsmen. Though she spends more time locking up comrades for pocketing eight ones. They might learn a thing or two if they don't expel her again. Yeah, that's bound to happen. What about your old buddy? The beloved ranger? Oh, beloved wherever he goes. Winning all sorts over to our rebuilding efforts. Minsk has the guild and nine fingers on board. <laughs> Deep down, it seems even the wicked can be moved to care for the city that made them. Of course, many of the wealthy fled the city when danger struck. Ha! <laughs> Perhaps the thieves only want to lure them back. 
But for now, their hands are busy laying bricks. While I hover around. Mistake me not, there is still much to be done. Plans to make, maps to be frowned over. But my children are more than capable of doing it. Even the young ones tire of me peeking over their shoulders. This night offers them a brief respite from me, at least. And this place, now I look at it, it is where you all spent your first night together, no? A fine spot for an adventure to begin. A fine spot indeed. You know, once you get to that point, <laughs> you begin to think about the past quite a bit. Do you have an adventure in mind? Just a little wonder, perhaps, to stretch the legs. I'll find my way back, as I always do. I admit defeat. Baldur's Gate is my home. But that is the thing about home. The only way to see it clearly is to leave and look back. For a little while, at least. For all your travels, I hope you have arrived where you want to be. Home. Whatever that means to you. That's true. Well, my home is with Shadowheart. Ah, oh, sentiment. With the greatest affection, I can think of better ways to sour our stomachs. I must inspect the refreshments. You'll never know. Some ne'er-do-well might have tampered with the wine. Yeah, that's fair. Speaking of, we should go talk to her. She How needs to be included. Ah, there you are, Hoot. Friend? Friend! You came! Big Brother Scratch, too! Happy! Oh my god, you're massive. You're a lot bigger than Scratch now. Yes, big! But Scratch is smart, teaches me many things, like Big Brother. That's right. I'm glad Withers brought you here. Withers? No. You smell very delicious. Follow smell, find you. Oh, that's good. What have you been doing since we last met? Lots. Make friends with a turtle, a cat, a kraken. Kraken eats my cat friend, so I bite, kill. With shiny clothes, I am strong. Tired now. Want sleep? Want cave? All right, then. Interesting. Let's see. It sounds like you need someone to look after you. How about with me and Shadowheart? Nice lady. She gives pets and tasty things. I like her. I go to her. Andrew Hill and his armored owlbear. Quite the sight. I didn't expect to be nervous. But seeing everyone here like this. It's strange, isn't it? I feel like I must have dreamed the last few months. Now I'm waking up back in camp with my hair smelling like wood smoke and fallen leaves stuck to my backside. <laughs> I can pinch you if you're afraid this isn't real. Oh wait, hold on. There's one more option that I like a lot more. Your backside is just fine. Trust me. I've been checking. <laughs> oh, I've noticed. Ever since I first slipped into my camp garments, I should think. I hope we won't seem terribly boring to everyone when they ask what we've been doing this past while. A cottage in the countryside. They may have been expecting something more. Well, more. Who cares? I mean, look, we're a couple. It's our duty to bore them to tears with the details of our adorable home life. True. They might even be jealous of the bucolic life. Perhaps every adventurer secretly pines for a little flower-strewn cottage overrun with animals. Well, now I miss home. <laughs> we could head back right away. Well, when you put it like that, we could open a guest house. I like that. Oh, gods, no. That sounds 
awful. They drag mud everywhere and eat us out of house and home. <clears throat> it's fine. Already passed. Shall must have sensed I was enjoying myself. I could kiss it better. That's very adorable. They seem less frequent. Do you think she might be losing interest? Perhaps. I won't get my hopes up just yet, but in truth, it doesn't matter. Her plan failed. I'm happy. I mean, how could I not be? I have you. But enough about Shah and her petty barbs. We're here to see old friends and enjoy ourselves. So let's do just that. Yeah, I agree. Why, I feel better already. Magical love. All right, I'll go take a look around. Be back soon. Have fun. Just don't wear yourself out too quickly. I'm anticipating a long night ahead of us. Oh boy. All right. So Let's investigate here. and see. Carla can come back. It's not like she's down there for good. She's able to visit. Let's talk to Scratch. A familiar sight. Scratch can't quite speak around the thing he has in his mouth. Oh dear God. What have you got this time, Scratch? I found this. It smelled like you, so I kept it. Seemed like something you might like to throw? You've made a very convincing case. I'd be happy to, but first, how have you been? Oh, I've been so good. I've got a nice home in the city now. A girl named Mindy says I'm her best friend. She's mine too. Also you and Albert. I've got so many best friends. I hardly know who to play with. Scratch is great. I'm so glad to hear you fared well since our travels together. I certainly have. And I always will. Forever, I think. And so will you. I think so. This is a dangerous object, though. I'm not sure we should be playing with it. You know best. But a little fetch never hurt anyone. As far as I know. Alright, we'll talk to... Let's see. Who's over here? Hiding on their own. Gail, I'll talk to him in just a moment. There's Lazel too. Oh, Tressum. Adorable. Well, look who decided to turn up. I wasn't sure our withered old friend could live up to his promise. But here we are. And you're looking more delicious than ever, if you don't mind me saying. Whatever you've been doing with your time, it clearly worked wonders. Yeah, sure. Oh, there's so much I could say right now. I've been boring, living a quiet, peaceful life. And fate let you get away with that. Not one improbable adventure landed on your doorstep. <laughs> I'm impressed. But I'm glad to see the world has treated you well. You've earned it. We both have, in fact. And where better to celebrate our good fortune? An old haunt with old friends. I do agree. Now, let's see. What about you? What have you been up to? I've taken a turn as an adventurer and hero. <laughs> It turns out no one actually cares about murder, as long as you murder the right people. And apparently I'm rather good at it. That's incredible. That's actually great news. No, he's not wrong. I mean, it doesn't really care about his general sentiment. That's true for all of us. It's been true for Andrew Hill. He's killed so many people. All right. Asterion, one of the good guys. Who would have thought? <laughs> Let's not get carried away, darling. I'm still me. Perhaps more me than I've ever been. Thank the gods for that. So, what's next for you? I'm going to keep living a good life. <laughs> Hardly. 
Good people don't spend as much time lurking in the dark as I do. You know, it's funny. At first, I thought I was trapped by the shadows. Cursed to live in them forever. But in time, I realized that darkness is as much a part of me as my fangs. This is only a curse as long as I refuse to embrace the shadows. So, I decided I would. I decided not to be defined by the choices other people made, by what other people did to me. My past may be done, but my present, my future, they're mine. This is who I am, in all my glory, for better and for worse. I'm glad to hear it. Acceptance looks good on you. That being said, I haven't completely given up on returning to the sun. If the opportunity presented itself, well, I wouldn't say no. But until then, I am happy. We've had quite the journey, you and I. From the moment I first threatened you, I knew you were someone special. Someone to take on the world with. I will miss our time together. But then again, maybe this isn't goodbye. So much as it's, um... See you later, darling. I do like that a lot more. A most welcome sight. Is it me? Am I the welcome sight? I might be. Old friend. I thought slaying Vlakith's hunters in the Cliffs of Sword's Teeth might be the month's pinnacle. But I was wrong. Being right here with you is an infinitely greater pleasure. Were it not for you, I might not have known the value of partnership, connection. I found new allies now. New... friends. People I trust and who trust me in return. We've heard word of a Githyanki outpost hidden deep in Chult. The last of Vlakith's Sword Coast strongholds. We mean to slay every last Sarth and Kithrak. I thought perhaps you'd care to join us. That's interesting. Yeah, I could see Andrew Hill wanting to do that. Like I said before, he's going to have peace, that's true. But if he's called upon, he'll go out. It's only temporary, a way to make a living, I suppose. I'm glad Lazelle is still here. That feels like a very good end for her. I mean, look at her. She's intense, and I really enjoy that. Even when she was quite hostile in the very beginning, I enjoy passionate people. People who believe in something. People who have opinions on what they believe is right. And she definitely fits all of that. She has so much passion in her. And now it's been delegated to something good. I'm going to enjoy tonight's respite while we can. We'll talk about it later. <sighs> right you are. Not every night is for spilling blood. I shouldn't be so callous as to spoil the quiet pleasures of this one. Now go. Mingle while you can. That's the word, right? Mingle? There is plenty of time yet for slicing scalps and tasting blood. There it is. That's Lazel for sure. Alright, we'll go talk to... Where's he at? Where is he at? He was wandering. There's Karlak. There's Halston. We'll just talk to Halston real quick. A few other characters, of course. You would think someone of my vintage would be inured to the passage of time. Yet these past six months have seemed endless without your company. But now our paths cross once more. Let me guess. Just as nature intended. <laughs> Just as I hoped they would, more like. The Oak Father has been kind to me this past while. Yet I cannot forget the bond we all forged together. It is one that can weather any distance, any passage of time. 
I know it can. For I feel the longing for old friends in my heart each day. I definitely relate to that. I know it's not for everyone, and I know everyone's not like that, but even if there's been many years, it doesn't really change up my general view of a friendship. I have a childhood friend of mine, and we just spoke on the phone not too long ago, and I've known them since I was roughly seven years old, and it was just like old times immediately, and that's great. I mean, that could be for better or for worse, depending on your relationship, but in that case, it was great. <laughs> You sound like you need a hug, bud. I always do. Should I ever decline, assume a doppelganger has taken my place. There we go. Oh, that's very kind. Brotherhood, friendship. That was more than worth the wait. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that was quite a squeeze you put on me, Halston. Uh, apologies. <laughs> you can probably understand my eagerness. I shall be as gentle as a feather next time. Now, we have much to catch up on. Do not allow me to ramble on. I am eager to hear all you've been doing. A little bit of gardening and all of that. Now, hold on. You first. I want to hear about the life you've made. The people you've helped. In that case, very well. Our community grows rapidly. In six months, we have turned what was once a shadowy wasteland into a true home for all. In another six months, I would wager the scars of the past will be entirely invisible, even to those who remember them. The old masonry of Moonrise Towers and Rythwin have been repurposed into new homes. And the land is rich with harvests and bountiful trees. Nature and civilization are in harmony. Stronger together. That's incredible. Well then. I recall you have quite a few young wards to care for. Nine wagons of them, wasn't it? Ah, uh, my greatest purpose and greatest reward. Those children have been through more than fate had any right to cast at them. And yet they go on, as resilient as anything in nature. I impart what knowledge I can to them, yet, in truth, they teach me far more. The land we saved is theirs, and they will cherish it, I'm sure. Thaniel and Oliver shall never want for friends again. Yeah, I believe that. I'll need to see this place for myself. You are welcome whenever you like, and for however long you please. Now, please, tell me all, and spare no details. I shall not lie. I have an ulterior motive in wishing to hear all. It is the children, you see. My charges. Their appetite for bedtime tales is greater than I could ever have anticipated. Another story, Daddy Halsin. Another is the chorus that greets me each nightfall. They have all but exhausted my repertoire in but a few short months. No mean feat to give them the lifetime I have lived. I desperately need new material, please. My reputation is at stake. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Let's see here. What do I have? I am all ears. Though I never cared for that phrase. A rather unsettling image. I agree. All right. Well, it actually hasn't been that interesting. Not for a bunch of children. But I'll tell them. <laughs> you have kept yourself busy. I expected no less in truth. I shall be able to keep the children enthralled for a few more nights yet, thanks to you. And should you wish to retell of your exploits in person... Well, I shall not object to a night off. Now, it would be cruel of me to hoard you all to myself for the evening, as much as I would like to. I shall leave you to the others for now, unless there was anything else. Let's see here. Wow, there's a lot coming from him. Still partial to roaming in bear form, I take it. I spend half my days in ursine form. The children demand it. I had a score of them taking turns riding upon my back just days ago. 
<sighs> I'm glad they are so comfortable with the Oak Father's creations. But they must learn that not all are as amiable as I am. A lesson for another time, though. They deserve some joy. As for roaming, that impulse has dwindled, I must admit. Perhaps because I have found where I am meant to be. That's true. All right, let's see here. What are the Grove? Do you stay in touch? On occasion, but I prefer not to interfere. Francesca of the High Forest is Archdruid now, and by all accounts, she has proven to be a steady and wise influence. Even Korga may yet find true balance, thanks to her influence. That's fair. What about Daniel and Oliver? <laughs> Quite often. They come and go as they please, but with so many playmates to avail of, <laughs> they are far from strangers. They ask after you often. What you did for them will never be forgotten. I can see it in the land all around me. But more importantly, I see it in their faces whenever they visit. To make a child smile is to dabble with the power of gods as far as I'm concerned. Well, that's a great ending for him. One more. You seem more settled than I expected of you. I thought that was against your nature. As did I, but somehow I feel like I no longer need to roam. That I have found something worthy laying roots for. Amazing what can be discovered about oneself, even at a ripe old age. I agree. Uh, before you go, I have something for you. Just a little keepsake, really. Do you remember how I told you I like to whittle? I made this. <laughs> Ducks are my favorite, but I thought they were particularly fitting in this case. They are migratory birds, of course, traveling far and wide with the turn of the seasons. Yet, they always find their way back to where they belong. Just like old friends find themselves back in each other's company. That's really, really thoughtful. I love it. All right. It's lovely. Thank you. Just a token to remember me by. Now, I've taken up enough of your time. Go on. Enjoy the festivities. We can speak again later. That made me like him so much. Huh. All right, we'll talk to... Is there anyone down over here? Oh, that would be Withers. Well, we won't go talk to him just yet. What a room he's made, though. Does he live here? My God. All right. Let's have a look then. There you are. I was hoping you'd make your way over. Yeah, sure. We'll chat. There you are, my friend. Breathe deep. Can you smell it? That wasn't me. Yeah, sure. I'll take it into sense. A nature roll. 16. You take in every scent the night breeze carries. Sweet honeysuckle, tender violets, and an earthy fragrance you can't quite recognize. Yeah, I smell fragrant flowers and a mysterious accent I can't quite place. Forest trees draped in moss. Bittersweet smoky and that faintest hint of vanilla a far cry from the rancid avernus heat that's been clogging my lungs i swear karlak and i have felled enough cambians to build a fortress with their horns who'd have thought that just one of those fiends held the key to escaping avernus for good one of them sported a map and some blueprints if you want all the gory details karlak can fill you in Sure. How have you been faring without your warlock powers? I think the splinters I made out of the last bone devil I saw speak for themselves. Not to pat myself too hard on the back, but I'm not such a bad ranger if I do say so myself. A ranger, really? Have you had any time to visit your father? I've seen him more than a few times, and he's as proud of me as I am of him. 
He's leading the city's renewal, opened the gates to all newcomers, rebuilt the council from scratch. And he's back in his element, commanding the flaming fist with brave heart and no shortage of empathy. The likes of Gortash can bend people's minds with a few chosen words. No tadpole needed. Bane's chosen primed the fist for a war they weren't meant to win. He convinced them there was an assassin hiding in every shadow, that cruelty was the correct answer to crisis. With a few exceptions, fathers pardoned every last fist. If my forgiveness not be tears will, so be it. I shall forgive them all the same. His words, not mine. He still believes in the bow and the blade, but with Floric's help, he's teaching the fist a new lesson. Valor is found not in the wounds you inflict, but in the lives that you have bettered. May they all take it to heart. I do hope so. I've missed traveling with you, bud. You were a pleasure to be around. I've missed you too. The rush of battles we fought, the heart to hearts, the nights around the fire, the comfort of knowing I didn't face the unknown alone. If I had to do it all over again, and I'd rather not, to be clear, I can't imagine not having you at my side. Well, that's enough hell talk for the moment. The night's young. You shouldn't go wasting it. Or wasting any of the wine, for that matter. I plan on downing half a bottle myself. Oh, did I say half a bottle? I meant half a dozen. I was gonna say, don't be weak. You can't do that to me. All right, who else do we have right now? They're chatting. Let's go talk to... Uh, there he is, eating food. Dear God, he's eating. Relatable. Ah, breathe deep, Pooh. The smell of heroes sings from every stone in this place. Ah, to meet again where your journey began, my friend. An honor. For Minsk and his hamster both. Oh, and for Happy also. Uh, yes. Uh, honored, of course. Um, it's good to see you and Boo and Happy. <laughs> see how your very presence snatches the breath from his chest? And it is no wonder. It is just this day that Happy learned of your legend. While well, we gazed down upon the very city you saved. He dangled me from the high hall, upside down, for two hours. Eh, the guilt should not go creeping in high places if they do not have the stomach for them, hmm? It is well for Happy the strange portal appeared when it did. Minsk's arm was growing exum. I really need to know what that is. You're still chasing after the guild? I thought you'd made your peace with them. So I have. Though it is a peace made more from blade and boot than it is any sense of brotherhood. Nine fingers forbade any looting of the Illithid's fleshy vessels. And so Minsk guards what remains of the battle site. Even from her. But where Minsk might once have thrown any sneaking scoundrels from the tower top, now I tell them of you. How you ruled the wickedness within. How they might do the same. Yes, yes, I'll rule it. I'll be better. No, oh, of course. It is still for Boo to decide if they live or die. Oh, oh, God. But enough, my friend. I cannot tell your tale if I do not know the whole of it. Minsk and Boo would know where you have been, what you have done. Just living my life. Now I've found someone to live it with. Aha, uh -huh, the lovebirds still nest together then? <laughs> Minsk is glad. For what is life without a companion? Though I am thinking yours does not sit on your shoulders, eh? Ah, you are right, Boo. <laughs> that is uh, none of Minsk's business. Now, halfling. Who will not have you embarrassing him in front of his friends. So you are to know the rest of the company you keep. Will Ravenguard, the Blade of Frontiers, 
devil-horned and angel-hearted. Lazel of Crash Killer, true child of Gith, and true friend to Boo. Though she will and say it is not so. Astarian, who is banished by the sun itself for fear his spawnish soul might outshine it. We visit him much down in the dark places, though he often moves his lair without remembering to tell Min Square. Gale, the man who would be a god, but then thought better of it. Boo thinks better of him for it too. Shadowheart, two gods dogged at her soul, but she managed to keep it all for herself in the end. Wait, Boo, did, did she do something with her hair? Halsin, archdruid of archers somewhere. He is a much better man than he smells. And there, the champion of the hells herself. Karlak Demon's Bane, Devil's Bane, Merkel Ball and Bane Bane. Once the guild is made of good names once more, Bull shall scratch the hells wide open and find a way to bring her back. And finally, Jahira. If this is a name you do not already know, then not even Boo can save you. Study them well, sneak thief. For the best among them will be a guide for your guild. Heroes who put the city before themselves. Who never falter in their duty. And more than this, who never arrive to a party without even a gift for the host. But wait! Go, my friend. Be among our friends. There is much work yet to be done before this one is fit to join them. I didn't see who he brought. They seem to be invisible, but all right. I could throw some water or something down there. Does not really matter? It's a plus one dagger. We haven't spoken to Karlak nor Gale. I guess we'll talk to him first. Yeah, we'll talk to him, then Karlak. You know, she had a lot going on, a clothing chest. Huh. That is a lot of clothing. A lot of dyes, too. That's interesting. Ah, there you are. Here, I'll talk to the Tressum first. Oh, right. You. Hello. Yeah, hi there. It's good to see you again. Yes, I'm certain it is. As for you, well, I've heard congratulations are in order. You helped Mr. Dakarios save Baldur's Gate from the Absolute, isn't that right? Yeah, sure. He helped me. That doesn't sound like him. But whichever way you want to remember it, well done, I suppose. You ought to come visit myself and Gale when you're able. If you can extract yourself from what I'm sure are very important responsibilities. Yeah, I would actually like that quite a bit. Thank you. We'll send word by pigeon when we've need of you. I used to have a taste for them, but a great many things have changed in recent months. Ta-ta, darling. Well, well. Look what the Tressim dragged in. Professor Gail Decarius of Blackstaff Academy, educator of the esteemed School of Illusion. A pleasure to remake your acquaintance. Well, that's incredible. Good job. <laughs> there we go. Well, that was quite lovely. I'm glad you're as pleased to see me as I am you. I have to say, I'm quite grateful to just be Gale for the evening. I fear my students find me somewhat intimidating due to my uh, explosive former reputation. I seem to put the fear of the gods into them, or the fear of Mistra, to be more specific. I surrendered the crown of Carsus to her, as I told you I would. And in return, she cured me of the orb at last. 
Even now, I struggle to put the feelings into words. It was like exhaling for the first time after holding my breath for so very long. Of course, I haven't clarified with my students that the orb is no longer a threat. The legend of my explosive capabilities is an excellent means of controlling a classroom. Too good, if anything. I spend most of my time trying to convince them how much fun the study of magic can be. But it'd be easier to crack a smile on an intellect devourer than some of my pupils. Go on, then. Convince me. Why is illusory magic so much fun? Illusory magic has the power to confound the senses, to render the impossible into reality, and to allow expression of that most magical attribute of all. Imagination. Unfortunately, in that respect, some of my apprentices seem to be rather lazy. Oh, they try their best, of course, when they can manage to stay awake. The cheek of them! Nothing a well-placed swipe from Tara can't fix, though. And what of you? What are you making of this newfound lease of life we earned? Let's see here. I mean, I could use my paladin response, but... Let's see. I found the love of my life, I'd say. I'm pretty happy. And I couldn't be happier for you. A fitting reward for the sacrifices you made in getting here. I've told my students plenty of tales about our escapades. You're something of a hero to them, you know? I'd be delighted to introduce you to my current cohort as a guest lecturer, perhaps. I'm sure they'd have plenty of questions for you. Yeah, it would be my pleasure. Excellent. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist the allure of sharing your expertise. Of course, you'll be most welcome to stay with me in my tower. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, my apologies, Tara. That would be our tower. It will give us plenty of time to catch up on your adventures. I'm very curious to know what you've been up to these past months. But I suspect the telling of that tale would keep you tied to me all evening. So, in the spirit of selflessness, I encourage you to mix and mingle for now. With time enough to come. It would be interesting if throughout the game at camp it was always like this, where everyone was doing something, interacting, being lively. I think that would be a lot of fun. I'm just trying to make sure I've not missed anyone. I don't believe I have. It's just Carlac. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Oh. Letters. Oh my god. Okay. Well, let's have a look at the gazettes. Okay, it's been half a year since Gortash was killed. Don't know who did that. No idea. Doesn't matter. What do we have over here? Let's see. The cultists have been cleared out. Good news. By the living gods, I needed it. Raven Guard returned to full strength. Wonderful. And Thorm's army dispersed from Baldurian borders. Even better. <laughs> Stone Lord killed by beloved ranger. He is quite beloved. High Harper no more. Hero Druid goes to ground. Almond Cakes of Avernus. <laughs> That's cute. Let's see then. Let's go. Oh. Cheers to you. Cheers to Withers. <laughs> Cheers to all of us. I agree. About those letters now. What do we have here? A harp stamped letter. My friend, I hope this finds you wherever you are. I just wanted to thank you and ask a favor. I'm to be made a watcher. The High Harper put me forward to the Harper Council for service to the city. I'm not sure what that means, but I know that if it wasn't for you, I'd be back mucking out my mother's yard. I'm permitted to bring one guest to the ceremony, who will name me Watcher before the Council. You spoke for me once before. I understand you're probably busy, but I would be honored if you do it again. Ah, the Harper that survived. We've got Zevlor too. I hope my penmanship has improved somewhat in the past months. When I first stumbled into the city, 
I shook so badly that I could scarcely hold the soup the priests press into my hands, let alone write and thank you as you deserve. It is only when the city itself began to shake that I felt my hands grow still. Along with the other veterans sheltering out of the temple, discards of El Terrell's unworthy legions, I watched that monstrosity rise over the city. We felt no fear, only anger, disgust, purpose, and with it power. I do not know what oath we cling to now, or how long it will last, but we shall use it to ensure that this city will not suffer good as El Terrell did, company, whether it wants us or not. From the looks of it. It is more than thanks alone I owe. No words can make amends for what I did to my people, but that is as it should be. More come to the temple every day to aid in the relief efforts, and if I am permitted to work alongside them, then I am content. Come and see us when you can, Zevlor. We've got nine fingers. I'm not much relieved in my city, but it does gladden a girl's heart to be asked to the ball. So I'll thank you for that much. In my place, except if you... Okay, <laughs> look at that. Fine vintages just added to our collection. To roll their way from the upper city and all the commotion, the rebuilding has given rise to many such happy opportunities worth discussing over a more civilized drink in my guild hall if you find yourself at a loose end. Enjoy the muck and see if you can get the high harper to sing. You won't be disappointed. Adorable. All right, Marina. Ah, thought I'd reach out. First for once. I finally had my baby, a beautiful boy. I can't believe I ever thought of giving him up. He screams his head off half the night, and I've barely slept. But I'm the happiest I've ever been. Other than my wedding day, of course. I decided to name him Connor after his dad. With Ethel gone, myself and some other hag survivors have started our own publishing house. We've only printed a few pamphlets so far. But I'm halfway through my first book. Me, an author. It's like something out of a dream. Mind you. It's all about how to kill hags, but you know what they say, write what you know. With every pamphlet we publish, more people show up to our support groups. As happy as that makes me, it breaks my heart to see how much harm Ethel did. But so long as I live, another hag won't set foot in Baldur's Gate, you have my word. Anyway, the reason I'm writing isn't just to talk your ear off, it's to say thank you. For saving a scared young girl who thought she'd be a terrible mother. I couldn't have been more wrong. Next time we meet... Pints are on me, Marina. We've got hope. And don't worry, I'll talk to Carlac. I had a dream last night. Not that there are any nights here, or any days. It was a dream about you, all of you. And you were here with me. And I had served bread and jam and oat crackers and cheeses. And enough tea to quench a desert. You nibbled and sipped and smiled and laughed. And you asked if I was happy. Nobody has asked that for so long that I don't know if anyone has ever asked at all. I didn't have the words to answer, so instead, I led you through my house and showed you all the souls that are here with me. They were Raphael's once, but now they only belong to themselves. The archive is an art gallery, the boudoir is a grand kitchen, and the dungeon is a refuge for any wounded soul or creature that finds its way to us. Am I happy? I don't know, but I am hope, and I persist because of you. Maybe Carlyne could go over there. Oh boy, boss. All right, let's see here. Shalak. Orpheus may not be with us, but the comet shines ever bright. Breath by breath, battle by battle, Black Hiff's death draws nearer. I have taken to the astral plane. Slaughter all who must be slaughtered and spread the air's truth to every possible ear, willing and unwilling. Many Githyanki have already taken up arms as warriors of the comet. Others have remained in their enclaves or traveled to crashes dedicating themselves to our cause as scribes, spies, and slate scholars. But our allies do not call themselves children of Gith. Zyrith, Minyar Agith. Ah, the Gifts of Rise God King has requested an audience. There was a time I would have thought such a coalition unspeakable, but with the Gifts of Rise at our side, not even the full force of the Kithraki could stop us. If Black Gif is to fall, perhaps the two skies must again be made one. Interesting. Very good. Who else do we have? We've got Nocturne. That's been a minute. I remember that person. Dear Shadowheart, I hope that you are happy and well. I must keep this short, as I remain surrounded by Shard's followers at almost every waking moment in my new enclave. I dearly wish for you to enjoy your night spent with old friends, and I hope that you and I shall share such a reunion. I know it must seem strange for me to dwell on such heretical thoughts. Yet I cannot help myself. Perhaps one day I shall find some measure of the bravery that you did, 
and walk away from this life. Until then, I shall keep safe and hold memories of you as my one ember of light amid an ocean of darkness until we find each other once again. Let's see. Elminster. Oh, dear. Gel, my boy. I can only apologize for my absence from Withers' little gathering. As you know, only the most urgent of business would keep me from indulging myself in his excellent taste in sweetmeats, and your esteemed company, of course. I was delighted to hear that you came to your senses with regards to that cursed crown, and delighted yet further when I learned that the orb's malingering presence no longer poses any threat. In that sense, at least, I hope you feel Mistra treated you fairly. I trust you're enjoying your adventures, I have to say. I struggle to picture you outside of Waterdeep. Or your library for that matter. Wherever your escapades take you, be sure to keep your larder well provisioned. After all, one never knows when an old friend might drop by. Elminster. Let's see then. After that, ah, the tiefling. Hey there. Would you mind passing this on to Carlac? Thanks a mill. Carlac, if you're reading this, you're alive. One way or another, you found a way. Thank the gods. I think of you often, wondering what's become of you. Write to me, won't you? Please. Yeah, he should have came. Alfira, I wish she was here too. Hello, friend. I'm sorry it's been so long, but I have the most amazing news. You know how Lucrissa was making or was working insane hours at the Elf Song Tavern? Well, she woke up or woke me up one morning, all excited, and told me she had a surprise for me. She took me to a house in a lower city that had a plaque hanging up outside it. A plaque with your and Lahala's names on it, and school of music beneath. I just burst into tears. I couldn't believe it. It's the cutest house you've ever seen, with a big open space downstairs and a small loft where we can sleep. Word spread, and before I knew it, I had a room packed with trainee bards from Candlekeep to Waterdeep. But Krissa had to quit the elf song to help out. I'm teaching night and day and fall into bed utterly exhausted every night, and I've never been happier. Do come and visit sometime. We would love to have you. Lots of love, Alfira. Floric. Dear friend, I doubted you for so long. Perhaps you knew that already, in spite of my best attempts. You proved yourself time and time again at Joaquin's Rest and Moonrise Towers and Worm's Rock, and still I doubted. The Netherbrain's defeat should have proven your courage. Yet I was more doubtful than ever. This was a ruse, a dream, a trick. And then one eve, from the elf song, I heard it, singing, a raucous, lewd, tuneless, drunken refrain. I never heard anything more terrible and more beautiful. I raised my voice and joined the chorus. That was the moment all my doubts melted away and replaced with something more valuable, hope. Baldur's Gate will be whole again. I might have doubted you, but you never did. With profound admiration, Floric. I need to have a drink. My mouth is getting dry. That's a lot of reading, but I like these letters. I do like letters a lot. I like to read them quite a bit. A small extract from a self-published polemic tabloid. A note is attached at the top. I will not be silenced. E. Right, Edvard. That publisher, I believe, right? Do I have that right? Needling with Edvard. Friends, Baldurians, my people, consider our loss. Our lauded and benevolent patriarchs maimed. Our great upper city libraries demolished. The very beating heart of our city. The right to speak freely. Dead upon the cobbles. Do you not see, my friends, Lord Gortash, formerly our greatest bulwark against the Absolute? is now smeared as a collaborator, his allies and colleagues toss aside. Oh, dear God. Whatever. We've got Arabella. There's on the right. Well, that's good. Let's check it out. Hey, you. It's Arabella. You remember me, right? Boneman once said I needed to find balance. Where creation meets ruin. Where morning meets midnight. The root of all being. Fancy talk. He was right, though. After I touched that idol in the grove, it was like a big tree started to grow in my head. And all these weird thoughts and feelings and powers sprouted on its branches like big black leaves. I had to figure myself out. So I followed the weave, like Bowman said. I don't know how I knew what to do, I just did. After you squished the brain, Beardman showed up, said the weave led him to me, and me to him. He's teaching me how to make sense of all those leaves on my head tree. He says I need to use magic responsibly. He also says not to call him Beard Man. I'll let you know how it goes. Well, that's good. Let's see. We've got Ravengard. We're nearly through. Hero of Baldur's Gate. Vanquisher of the Absolute. The city is forever in your debt. 
For without your valor, your audacity, your sacrifice, it would not know renewal. It is not temples and inns and homes that I speak of, but hearts. Baldur's Gate can never be the city it was before. It suffered an absolute touch, and that is as it should be. The survivors have borne witness to their homes near destruction. They have come to regret turning a blind eye to the cruelty Gortash disguise as safety and security. And they understand, just as I have come to understand, that trust, compassion, and unity are the foundation of Baldur's Gate. Our gates are open once more to the disowned and displaced. The Flaming Fist will learn to be true servants of the people, and I? I will devote myself to ridding the gate of the shameful fears that allowed evil to enter our homes and sit at our tables. Yours. Good soul, Older good Ravengar. company, and good wine from what the looks. We have now Valeria. Oh, God. Salutations! I'm writing to request your help in a mysterious case that has arisen since our little Balian bash a half year ago. Regrettably, I've had to take the credit for dispelling the ball colt in your absence, you understand, and am working on routing the remaining ball list from our fair city. With a newly promoted Blaze de Vela fountainhead in tow, of course, this has made me a target. A false document bringing my name into ill repute has been made public. An alleged unpaid bar tab at the Elf Song. If you happen to be passing through with a bindle of coin, perhaps you can persuade management of my obvious innocence. Much obliged. Yes, any advice on getting Ball's blood out of cloth? Yeah, My hat's not been the same since the murder tribunal. Nope, I'm not helping. Good luck. Damn. To an old acquaintance. I write to you from the sunny porch of the last light in. A light breeze blows now and then. People are milling in and out. Builders, visitors, and children of all ages in Halson's care. I can no longer hold a quill. Or eat without assistance. A kind friend is transcribing this for me. Daniel rejoined with Oliver has promised to be with me when the end comes. And as our old songs drift on the wind ever louder, I know I have mere days left. But I do not fear it. If not for your help, this land would still be shrouded in darkness, and I'd still be lost within it. Know that my heart is full no and happy, and I'm grateful for my last moments. Do visit some day. And if you have time to stop by my grave, I know I would love to see you. That's sad, but I do understand. And for Barkus, to whom it may concern, that sounds about right. Withers gave me this address and said I could consider writing. Thus, an update. The Iron Hand gnomes are nearly beyond help, but I've managed to yoke them into something resembling a coherent force for innovation. We've been hired to assist in the city's reconstruction, and our steam-powered object moderations are helping to move building supplies in every part of the city. It's nothing, really. I am well. I trust you are, too. We deserve it, after all, don't we? Barkus Root. And a guild letter. To the Hero of the Realms, we have followed your adventure closely, from the day you fell from that doomed Nautiloid, to the final blow you struck the Netherbrain as it loomed over the Sword Coast. We are but a humble guild, who pride themselves in telling great stories. Not unlike the tales to be written of you for many years to come. How inspired we have been to witness your feats awesome and terrible. The lives you've saved and sundered. The friendships you've found. Thus, we thought to extend a greeting. To thank you for adventuring with such creative determination. Such panache. Enough to touch the hearts of each of our number. With the deepest gratitude. The Guild of Great Genius. Wonderful. So now we've gone through all of that. I don't believe I've missed anything else outside of talking to Withers and also, of course, Carlac. So, wait, what's up here? What is that about? That's interesting to look at. It's all playing music. Okay, Carlac, where did you go? I was trying to talk to you for just a moment. You've wandered away. Ah, there you are. Perfect. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He wasn't kidding. With this, you mad bastard, you brought me back! Soldier, it, it's really you. Oh, I've missed you, man. Like, I've really missed you. And you're so clean. That's true. I've missed you, too. <laughs> I'd say so. Can't think of who's been carrying your pack now that Kay's out of commission. Man, we had some good times. Wish Will and I had more time to reminisce, but surviving Avernus is just non-stop. <laughs> Still, having him there has been incredible. 
You really can get through anything with someone you love at your side. Oh, but hey, guess what we found? Cambion dropped a map with directions and blueprints for Zariel's own private forge. A fucking forge! Our current plan is to get in, grab a smith, and force him to fix old Rusty. Or maybe give me a brand new model that can live outside of Ernest. You haven't seen the last of old Karlak yet, soldier. Perfect. See, there we go. There's hope. <laughs> can I have a hug? Every time. It's going to be a hot one. be in Avernus forever, you know. Can I look you up when I'm out? Yeah, you'd better. Or I'll hunt you down myself. Hey, that would be kind of fun, though. High stakes hide and seek. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be curious to see if you could land a blow or two. Gods, is it good to see you again. To be here, together. Hard not to get used to it all over again. This won't be the last time. I promise. That's good news. I wanted to talk to her, but before we talk to Withers and continue on, it's been one incredible adventure. I can think back to how much time I've spent on it, how long I've been here, all the stories, all the ideas, all the enjoyment. It's been awesome. God, I hold on. Enjoying yourself, I hope. Absolutely. It's good to see everyone. Yeah. I know. I'll have to stop myself from getting teary-eyed when it's time to say goodbye again. Let's make tonight count. The only regrets I want to hear about come morning should revolve around an excess of carousing and questionable dancing. I know how to be the author of that. I do have a confession to make. I may have volunteered us for something. Oh, did you now? Come on then, out with it. Well... Well, you love animals, don't you? I thought you might like us to take in one. A rather large, feathered one. <gasps> the owlbear! Of course he can come with us! I always regretted we didn't extend the offer after the battle. It was all such a blur. We'll have to find somewhere for him to sleep, of course. He'd get stuck in the door of the cottage. Maybe the barn. It's as warm as anywhere, as long as he gets along with the other animals. It feels good to have a proper epilogue in that way. To see what things might be like. <laughs> I love it. I'm sure we could widen the door frame. Imagine being able to cuddle an owlbear on a cold night. Well, now we're gonna have to do that, aren't we? You're a bad influence, you know. I can picture the look on my parents' faces already. That's true. Ah, that's awesome. All right, let's see. Oh, it's about that story, right? About what we could tell everyone here. Let's see. With all the animals you've adopted, you've plenty to talk about, too, with the entire group. What's the current count again? Four dogs, eight cats, nine chickens, six pigeons, four sheep, Daphne the milk cow, that odd little squirrel that keeps jumping on my shoulder, and buttons, of course. Of course. See? Something for everybody. Well, actually, hold on. Let's see here. Oh, there's so much that I want to say, though. I get one option, huh? You should talk about buttons. No, no, I don't want to point out her fear. I do get that, though, but I'll just go with number one. See? Something for everybody. And plenty room for more when they find their way to us. <sighs> it's fine. Already passed. Shall must have sensed I was enjoying myself. Yeah. She should try it herself sometime. <laughs> She'd probably break out in hives. But enough about Shah and her petty barbs. We're here to see old friends and enjoy ourselves. So let's do just that. Absolutely. And now it's time for a hug. We didn't get a hug. 
We're gonna have a final hug. It's gonna be with Shadowheart, right? I think so. I enjoy the tenderness, all the friendship. I love it. As it should be. Are you trying to make me sleepy? You know how easily I get lost in your arms. Now that's love. Have fun. Just don't wear yourself out too quickly. I'm anticipating a long night ahead of us. Absolutely. All right, I believe we've spoken to everyone. At least I hope so. Unless I'm crazy, I think I did catch up with every single person here. Wait, what are you? Hold on. Hello? Oh, hello. Let me guess. You've got some suggestions about the music choice. Oh, interesting. You're not meant to be invisible. Okay, so we've got a few people who are invisible. All right. No, please carry on. Keep on playing. Suppose I'll get back to it then. I thought it was all magic. Well, I wonder who I'm not seeing beyond that. Is there anyone else? Huh. The astral prism. Do I even need to touch that? I wonder if I could interact with it. Yeah, I have no idea. But, let's see. I'll pick it up. I don't really want to. I've had it for so long. Ah, it's quiet. Good. As it should be. It should be quiet. Alright. Now, off we go. Right over here. We'll talk to Withers. For just a moment. There he is. This one night is like any other, and yet different. Thou art the savior of Boulder's Gate. Until such time it requires saving again. How dost thou feel? Ah, <sighs> all right. I feel satisfied. I accomplished everything I wanted to do. I am pleased to hear it. The satisfaction of one's intention is, to my surprise, a rare accomplishment. Enjoy the revelry of the day. Thou deservest at least that much. What comes next? What indeed? Prick up thy ears and listen. The balance of the world restored. The balance of these lives, mortal and otherwise, brought to account. Hear me, thou heroes, wastrels, friends. I have waited long to tell you these words. It is over. For now. Thou played thy part in weaving the fabric of fate itself, but for every thread you sewed, so did the gods unravel another. Sleep, rest, revel, but be ready, for thou mayst yet be needed. Until we meet again, I wish thee every possible fortune, health, wealth, love, and above all, problems worth solving. All right, then. To the greatest friends I could dream of. To you. We did it. The story has been concluded. I'll hold on to that save. <laughs> it's um definitely feels weird to be done. I've probably spent more time in this series and this campaign than any other one. I believe that might be true. The amount of thought going into how I'm going to do things, planning in every single battle, 
the interactions, just trying to get immersed into the story, into what I feel like my character would do in any situation, and everything else. It took me a minute to get there, but I'm finally there. I've always had that issue, I think, where I'll get through maybe like a book or a show I really enjoy, but I never wanted to conclude. But here we are now. I want to thank all of you for watching. I hope that you truly enjoyed this story. There are many more to come. Whatever that might be, I don't know. I'm always open to hearing about adventure ideas, story ideas, or whatever else. I think, in a weird way, if you've played through the game and it touched you in some manner, whether you just enjoyed one character or all of them and everything else, it has truly been a unique gem. If there's any flaws at all, and there are flaws, <laughs> It is certainly outweighed by all that is good, all that, that truly shines. And so I'm very happy that I got to play this and it's certainly a different standard. Different standard that will paint how maybe we expect games to be in the future. Where we want to hear from people, where we want to hear stories where we say, hey, I could imagine someone like that or I really enjoy talking with that type of individual and we feel connected to that character or to the story. Like when you're reading a very good book, I know I've had that happen. I'll read a book and I'll just feel so connected to that setting in that world. I find it important to get lost into some realm for some period of time. Some people drink, some people meditate, some people get lost in a book or even a game. These are all incredible tools, all incredible ways to just being beside yourself, being outside of yourself and your own reasoning for your day-to-day -day life. And so, like I said before, thank you for watching, Edra Hill. It's been a pleasure to play out your story. Who knows what might come in the future. I certainly need to get artwork done of you. I'm glad we chose Shadowheart for that route. There are so many incredible characters that I would like to talk to in the future. And whenever we come back, who knows how things might change up. Maybe it'll be bittersweet. But... We did what we could. Thank you for watching, everyone. And, as always, until then. There thou art, the dead three. Thy faces, gods. Thy actions, barely worthy of the name. Didst truly believe thy ploy would succeed? Didst believe I would not notice? Thou sought to bolster thy strength by taking away the souls of mortals. But souls vanish when their hosts become mind flayers. Didst think the other gods would not notice? Gods thou may be. Yet thou hast proven thyself fools, everyone. The supplication of Bane, the whimper of Baal, the death mule of Merkel, felled by mortals. I overestimated thee. They did not. Vermin? away. Thou wilt trouble us no more.